What's the crack? My name's Urbanize and you're watching Ireland's Finest DVD. This DVD is showing you Ireland's finest MCs along with producers and others that are important in the Irish hip hop scene, telling you a little bit about themselves and what they think about the scene. Irish hip hop remains a bit of a novelty between most people. For example, if you say to someone that you're a rapper from Ireland, you probably get laughed at. People like Spiral isn't really helping that cause. Hopefully after people watch this DVD that will change their opinions and hopefully they enjoy it. So let's get into it. Being from the north myself, I'm quite pissed off it hasn't gotten to the level of where Dublin and Cork is at. That's mainly because of people not knowing about Irish hip hop. I decided to speak to Mays about Northern Ireland and what he thought about the Irish scene. And I got a performance from MCOD of the Sirocco MCs. It's hard to decide, like it's the second, well it's one of the second cities, it's Cork as well, whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, I just, hip hop hasn't taken off as much, mm -hmm. maybe just with the troubles kind of mm -hmm. keeping everything in the back burner, there was no entertainment or whatever going on at the time. So, even in terms of immigration, like mm -hmm. London, people, like there was loads of Africans, all sorts mm -hmm. moving to London. And the same with Down South, whereas up in Belfast, it was just two sides killing each other constantly, so there was no chance of mm -hmm. gigs or whatever to go on. And like, I think one of the first hip hop gigs was Gang Saw in '93, so mm -hmm. it wasn't exactly a well developed scene. So, um, I don't know, I think it has the potential to become good, but it's still a good bit behind Dublin, London, probably even Scotland and stuff. Mm -hmm. just, it's still fairly held back. Would you have a Belfast in your lyrics or anything? It depends. Um, generally, I do it for a bit of political stuff, but I try and avoid Belfast because I still live there mm -hmm. and it's still dodgy. You know, it's <laughs> your legs broken if somebody <laughs> hears your stuff and doesn't like what you're being said, what's being said about them. I try and concentrate on one one thing, but generally, like it's just the kind of. Mm -hmm. Do you know, like Little Brother or Kanye West beat, where it's just kind of a good time beat. I mm -hmm. love more Belfast name stuff. I use Belfast slang or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's still. You'll know I'm from Belfast if you hear my rapping or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, uh. No, I try and avoid anything that's going to get my bollocks knocked in when I'm in the street <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> I remember the first time running in there, Royster, and I go, Royster! And he turned around and goes, Fuck! So I was going to give a shit kick then because somebody heard me. <laughs> <laughs> so I took that on board. Where do you think the scene was, or where it's going to go? Like, where do you expect it to go for 2006? Um, Did you get any break breakthroughs or anything? I can see some breakthroughs coming to be honest. Just yeah. even recently, like, people like Rob and you recording videos and uh, yep. just a good bit of singles and all that being all these collies got signed so I can see breakthroughs. Um even just generally with the whole kind of G unit thing, there's been a big kind of resurgence of rap in Ireland. There's mm. been even all the spies and scangers are getting them. Yeah. So, <laughs> I feel now I'm about to be sidelined. But um no, it'll be interesting to see how it develops. Um to be honest, everybody in the English scene kinda of yaps that they're not getting the breakthroughs, yeah. they're not getting as much as they'd like to be. But having been to Germany, France and stuff, yeah. where hip hop is really big, yeah. at the minute I'd prefer it I prefer it stays more like England. Yeah. Without becoming this big explosion because then alright, you're getting paid, but hip hop itself's just being taken by all these wankers that you don't <laughs> just, I remember walking by Germany seeing all these like eight year olds crib walking and stuff and just going oh fucking hell what's going on here it was just like worst nightmare come to life the simplicity, check the authenticity of this. 26 layers come together to assist. Formations attack like gorillas and the must be theories to crack queries that don't exist. Remain prolific, specific, the simplicity of this. Scientists can't dismiss the intensity of this. So set it off, send them on. No, it's off. Bring them on. Can't get lost now because I know where I belong. Play my part like guitarist. Moran to catalyst. Beat spark to start. Come together like an atom splits. Read my lips when I spit. Hits the point and a swift second. And I reckon expression is my greatest gift. Thank you, man. Thank you. Cheers.
moving down south. Dublin and Cork are the major hip hop cities in Ireland, so it's quite hard for an artist to get anywhere if you're from outside of them areas. Although there are a few guys that are doing their thing and doing it well, I decided to speak to a few of them. What do you think of the scene at the minute? What do you think of the Irish scene? The Irish well? scene, um, I think it's, it's, it's looking good at the minute. I mean, there was, a, there was a time maybe about one or two years ago when I just had the, the attitude, I must have had, a, I probably had a bad attitude at the time, but I just thought that things were very backwards, you know, nothing was going anywhere. Yeah. Everyone just trying to fucking be better than each other. And, um, you know, but now, I mean, there's so many more artists, like, now, you know, it's a growing scene. Mm -hmm. And um, it's still, it's still, you know, kind of people's mates and, you know, there, there's not a great fan base for it, but... Uh, you know, I think there is a growing fan base because there's more and more artists getting involved. There's more people starting to want to listen to it. So mm -hmm. I think it's moving in a positive direction. Right, check it out. Raw soul, urbanized, yo, man. This chap is all about the sporadic, miraculous vernacular And I'm attacking it with factual, spectacular rapping Infatuated, I'm charismatic and accurate You know I'm ravenous, but that's only the half of it Immaculate when I've got this pen and paper Never got the block, I rock and demonstrate The type of top songs that lots of fellas savor Watching me create this hot, refreshing flavor Like melons and lemons in Helen I'm swelling with venom and gelling with felons And fellas, I stay repellent Selling them this intelligent, relevant shit Developing, blemishing any skeleton Yelling, but very yelling Eloquent. The way I bring the hot spits on the cut And I don't give a fuck about the ifs and the buts And when the lump's gone, I'll make a split from the dust In the mist, have a puff, pull a chick, that's a must Cause the opposite sex could get it any time I'm spitting many rhymes and committing petty crimes The most lyrically gifted, spiritually twisted Spit a verse quicker than you could say Jiminy Cricket Yo, yeah That's it <laughs> Man so check it out, man. My flow will disturb you guys. I wanna shout out to Urbanize. So don't you ever fucking mention me. It's raw soul up on the documentary. And I was all over the place, but I'm gonna have a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of like the Irish scene itself? Like, would you look at the other MCs and learn from them, or would you? Do you like, do you actually listen to the music itself, or do you listen to more American stuff, or...? Um, Jesus, you, you remember this topic where fucking Messiah J didn't mention any of the other Irish rappers, but... Yeah. <laughs> in all honesty, as as Rob Kelly had said, that, you know, I, I couldn't give a shit with anyone else's own, really. Mm -hmm. You know, they're they're doing their thing, and, and we're doing our thing, like, you know... Mm -hmm. You know, I know a lot of the boys are all fucking... all clicky, and they're yeah, all yeah. In, in with the same kind of crowd, like, but once... First and foremost, I concentrate on myself. After me, it's the two boys, and then after that, then let everyone else do their own thing. Like what I mean? The the it's hip hop scene in Ireland, like, is you know, it's it's going a long time. Just wait, you know, it's probably back to the early nineties with Scary Air, and then Ghost and Jay on on the back of that then as well. So it's only like I think probably since Eminem came out, like, and people have. Well, not people, but people who wouldn't normally have had any interest in hip hop, like kind of said, oh, well, they can be a rapper as well, like. And well, would you listen to the music, the Irish music, man? Oh yeah, definitely yeah, listen so, to the so tunes. So, so, like, so, 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 so I mean, some people just have delusions. Like, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. It's the same with anywhere. Like, there's yeah. American stuff you listen. Scene, there's American stuff and English stuff you listen to. That's crap. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't rate. It's the same with the Irish stuff. Same with I mean, the Irish stuff. Like, yeah. It's just because it's such a smaller scene, it's just harder. Like, but there is good stuff to be had, like no doubt about it. Like, there's like. Urban intelligence, young lads like that, like you know what I mean? They're good. And Rob, Rob's obviously has a bit of talent. You know what I mean? Whether mm -hmm. Messiah J and the expert, well, yeah. We see what their new stuff is like, but you know what I mean? They're good as well. Yeah, there's something for everyone. It's like any scene. There's something for everyone. You know what I mean? It's well, Rob will Rob will give you your kind of more American American style mm -hmm. rapper, like you know what I mean? If bar Rob's Irish accent, like I mean, you wouldn't yeah definitely. you couldn't differentiate from you know any other Irish rapper. And then you have Messiah J kind of bringing that. Wait, that fucking what's your name? Sage. Sage French. Yeah, that like, or whoever. That that kind of style, like mm -hmm. backpack hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> Angsty students. Might want to cut that out. Oh, that that would be fucking cover cover stuff. But um, then you have also like I mean we 
I don't know what kind of category we fit into it. I'm sure you can't categorise yourself. You're in, you're in no position yeah, to I'm sure yourself. other people, you know? if they have or are thinking about us, they could come up with something for us. But you know, we just we do our thing, and everyone else does theirs, and meet in the middle, and it all kind of helps to build the world of one scene. Like, hey, where do you go with that? Eh? Um, pretty much the same. Um, it's a good scene, it's a good healthy scene, but um, I think it was stronger a few years ago. Like, but now you've you do you fair fair paid lads are putting on shows, etc. And lads out there and put their neck in the line of that. That's mm. great. But uh, the Irish scene is never going to be big. You know, I think people have to accept that there's never going to be like a big major fucking Irish hip hop scene because mm -hmm. per population head. You know what I mean? But um, whoever's doing it's doing it well. Like you know what I mean? And they're, yeah. They're doing what they love doing. I think at the end of the day, rather, if they are shit or whatever the hell, who cares? Because they're doing what they love doing. Simple as that, you know? Good Jesus. Only the good men can say this from the shite dad. MTV is playing for all he is. We're the water in the desert of waxes. Call us oasis. Great beats and season DJ. We got the basics. We get airplay. Yo, from a yo to the bay. Yo, and love all the way from LA to go away. We're always starting something, be it London or Dublin. Skibbereen and Cork or Queens and New York. We got you stuck off the realness. We be the good men, you heard of us. AC, lyrical murderer, the men come prepared for warfare. Beware all you whack ass foes and you cock sucking hoes cause we're blazing. You cats aren't even lukewarm. We could get you to outfits or what's perform. None of you novices can fuck with me and my accomplice. So if you're really feeling this, let me see you pump your fist. Any rapper steps to me gets burnt like a perm I'm contradicting myself more times than Bertie or Herm eh. I was drunk hours ago, now I'm past piss Don't want to sell me matches, I'm a convicted arsonist No one can ever harm me I'm so tough, they'll go to kiddies parties and start fighting with Barneys I grab the horse with the head backwards What's the password? We're losing out, you fat purple bastard I'll admit I'm a lunatic They threw me in the loony bin for being hooked in helium balloons and shit But they need me dosage I'm not mad, I just want to wear sandals with socks like an Irish Moses Get rid of me? You need more than paid postage Peter MC's coming with a plague of locusts Give us a bottle of Hennessy, no bother well down or I'll get the empty bottle and then I'll fuck it at the bouncer yeah. <laughs>
I just want to hear what was in the 90s or what was in the 80s, what I grew up on. Like, when mm-hmm. people wonder at this age, are like, everything is new and fresh to them. So that's when you can kind of uh, gr- uh, mold them into the musical, like, give them the kind of uh, opportunities to kind of develop musically. And a lot of them are kind of more open then into other musics at, at that time. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of them are very understanding of the roots of stuff. Like, I noticed with this group, of the generation now who are between mm-hmm. sort of 16 and 20 mm-hmm. and younger even, I noticed a lot of them that their generation four years ago would have been mm-hmm. like oh it's all about Tupac or whatever yeah. fair enough but now they've got like A Nas Biggie Jay Z more mm-hmm. uh, like kind of roots of hip hop yeah, some yeah. of them one of the guys uh, like some of them are getting into like jazz heavily reggae and it's just seeing the, the roots of, like because I'm a big believer in like to understand hip hop you have yeah. to understand the roots of it yeah, which yeah. is everything jazz soul reggae funk everything so I kind of try to do that in my, my own gigs and my radio shows and mm-hmm. when, when that gets passed on to the younger crowd obviously the first kind of major interest is going to be like whatever like Biggie and there's cool videos and girls and whatever mm-hmm. but then a lot of them might get into the kind of the deeper roots of the music so that's the way I try to do it. So does it feel good for like people to be looking up to you? Like if you, I've yeah, spoken, cool, spoken, spoken to a few of them, and yeah. they've all said, if without Stevie G, the court scene wouldn't be here. Yeah. Well, I know a lot of these guys when they were really raw and younger, and mm-hmm. they didn't have the kind of like talent they had. No, they had the talent, but they weren't exercising it in that way. But and it's kind of the way I look at it is, it feels good for me to have these guys coming through because. Mm-hmm. I look up to guys for years, uh, guys and girls around the world musically, and it's just the same thing. Musical thing is a community, like it's, it exists outside, like a lot of other things, and it is a kind of a like. Even though I work in the most mainstream of circles, there's certain things you do mm-hmm. behind the scenes, and it gives you satisfaction when they can do it themselves and inspire you back. And to be honest, it'd be a lot better for me to be working with guys I've brought through since they were 13 or 14, when they're 25, mm-hmm. rather than some guy with a huge ego from the States who, like, you, you have to pay to even talk yeah, to. Yeah. So that's the way I look at it. Like, it's just bringing it all through. We mightn't have the benefits right now, but we certainly will. That's the way I always look at it, the long term, you know? It all kind of comes through. How long do you think we'll have to wait for it? Hmm? How long will you think I have to wait for the scene to come through? I know, I think it's I'm like it's, it's as good as I ever could have thought it would be at this stage, but I always look at like the world is your oyster kind of situation. Mm-hmm. I don't see any limitations, the sky is the limit. Uh, I say that with anything musically, so I could see anything happening. Like if people, are, we've got you've got to use your own angles here. We've got a traditional music background. There's a kind of gift of the gab poetry yeah. background that Ireland has. Uh, we're in Ireland. We're between England and America. Not too influenced by both. So we've just got like endless possibilities, really. Like. Mm-hmm. There's a shitload of talented MCs coming out of Cork at the minute. I spoke to two of them, GMC and B Wonder. What do you think of the Irish scene at the minute, like? Well, I think it's yeah. great improvement, especially in Cork, anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's great, uh, very big audience for the scene, especially for the underage at the moment. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, there's a lot of, uh, even a lot of the underage gigs, the underage is like, the, mm-hmm. a lot of them are well into the stuff, like, uh, we'll be getting a lot of gigs now for Stevie G's Jam Junior, yeah. which means in a few years' time, when that crowd are yeah. old enough, they'll be looking for it like in the club scene as well. So hopefully there'll be like, there could be a place that we can, uh, that there'll be a weekly thing going on, you know? Because at the moment, for over 18s, there's mm-hmm. that much like, it's it's building up, it's building up, there's a scene developing where yeah. people are getting to know each other and being influenced by each other. So it's definitely getting out there, it's definitely getting bigger and bigger. What do you think of the help of Stevie G? Stevie G's help, if Stevie G wasn't there, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't be bringing out an album yeah. first day, you know what I mean? He's been really helpful to anyone on the scene. Like, if, yeah. if anyone wants a tune play, Stephen will listen to it and he'll do his best to play it. Like, even, yeah. even on his uh, daily drive time show, you mm-hmm. know, give, you, give the tune a play, and even on his uh, specialised black and red show, always, always willing to help. Definitely. How would you get your music out? Like, what's the best way of putting it out? What's the best way of putting it out? Pirate radio, definitely. There was a big pirate radio scene in Cork in the last year or two, but they've all been shut down. Mm-hmm. But it's still kind of there. Like mm-hmm. um, at the moment in Cork, the best way again is through Stevie G and yep. his gigs and his radio shows. He's been very, very helpful. But, like because he's one of the few kind of uh, hip hop DJs on a mainstream radio. Mm-hmm. So he can. He's a great influence. Like for. Uh, for getting our stuff out there, you know what I mean? It's really helpful. 
and just even doing gigs with them as well like you know mm -hmm. people people get to know people get to know your face and stuff like that and they say mm -hmm. oh yeah that's that's gmc that's bony and you know they'll be looking forward to next gigs yeah, as yeah. well you know so it's the miggity 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 mac Kirky, you know I'm not crisscross but I am quite young I'm at the top and I'm hot like the cross and a hot cross bun My rhymes are useless like the ovaries of a nun Hmm, but I still MC for the laugh Don't keep my head in the clothes like the head of a giraffe I'm a simple fella with pimp pills and Nutella's What I eat before I sleep except when I sleep with Estella She don't wanna be tasting chocolate nuts from my mouth I wanna taste in my nuts if you know what I'm on about But all my brothers have old dolls so I'm the next in line They must think that I'm bent but I'm just taking my time But I tell them let me off, I'm young I just wanna go mad, I just wanna go mad Let me off from young, I just wanna go mad What do you think of the state of the scene in the minute? Like, where would you think it would be in a few years time? Do you think it'll grow more? Do you think it's, it'll... Yeah, it's hard to tell, like, do you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. obviously it's hard to see it going worldwide and stuff but yeah. you know, people from different countries wouldn't even understand your accent if yeah. in different countries, like, do you know what I mean? But, uh, no, it's, I mean, since when we started and since when we started and uh, it was a lot quieter than it is yeah. now, like, and that's only about four years ago, like, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, so, I mean, it's getting bigger as it is. So, we'll see what happens from here, like, do you know what I mean? I'm just telling boys, listen to your own stuff, boys. I'll be going, look at them mugs and all. I'm from Carp, I wouldn't hear that before the state of them, do you know what I mean? You have a fucking snap out of it, like, do you know what's fine, listen to other shit. If it's good, like, listen to it, boys. No, I'm fucking uh, taking a piss out of them just because they're from the same place as it, you know? They're all holding grudges and shit. <laughs> there be people saying that about me now when they see this interview, they go, what's the animal to say to them before? <laughs> That's it, anyway. Do you know? <laughs> Alright, thanks for being on there. Alright. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't care. Alright. Who is this? I don't think it'll be on our albums at all because I've gone off the sports because you know the last few months so I just do it for this interview. Alright. Smart guy in front of it anyway. Yeah. Just give me the mic and give me the link to spec to spit and start some shit but I don't be starting if I smack you in your can't a bit. Yeah. Hit them out of the bad as shit when I rap I spit the hardest shit boys. Coming from the hands of savages no Spack at the cannabis and passing to me man and this direct from Amsterdam this is the classic of our ganja shit. Give me a gram of it but a fat boy give me a half of it. The songs is bone to him won't be writing these days and fucking raps and shit with a host full of people stone flavoring on acid trips. West Coast hydroponic is the chronic take a massive hit boy. Can you handle it? Can you imagine another blast of it? What a hyper or African? What are you boy? A matter of bitch? Just let the panic begin get smashed until we're laughing. The saddest things imaginable and rapping for the crack of it. And give me the facts, it's cause these ads are on a matter going rabbi, getting langos, they're not leaving till the gaps and shit. Leave it off. Listen. The first Irish MC that I heard and actually thought was wicked was Scooby. But at the time I didn't realise it was actually his production that he was known for. Scooby is another Cork talent and is arguably Ireland's finest producer. What did you start off production with? Like what, what, uh, what hardware did you actually use, and what type of stuff do you use now? I use the, this is the RS seven thousand. Yeah, man. Now there was a guy on H two era a couple of months ago mm -hmm. trying to sell one of these, right? Mm -hmm. And like, he got burned. Like some boys put up a link to Tom and that the about you know that you can get it for cheaper, but. I'm telling you, if you can pick one of them up for under a grand, buy the fucking thing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just, every single, whatever beats I'm known for, or, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. I've made them on that, like. Yeah. And only that. Do you any software you use? No. I haven't got no computer, no nothing. Mm hmm Totally fucking, it's just, straight, me and the R7000, three crates of records. There you go. Simple as that, like, but... I started off with it was the older version of this. It was the RM1X. Mm. I actually sold it to Be Wonder, mm. but it, it didn't have no sampler. Yeah. So if you if you check like the old H2 era yeah. audio page, you'll hear the beats. Like yeah. I had a computer back then. I was using Fruity Loops as well. Yeah. But, you know, at times it's tough. You sell the computer, you know, yeah. things happen. But no one using that. I take some songs off this, the 909, Roland 909. And just basically that, the records and a couple of sound, synth sounds of that. And that's basically the process I go through when I'm making tracks. So it's, and a little bit of the whole, do you know? So. Like, uh, who have you worked with? And the Irish scene or wherever you, anybody really? Anyone, well. The likes of B Wonder, Bubble Diamond, 
I did tracks for this, the correct minds, mm -hmm. Ozzy G, Rob Kelly, do you know what I mean? To be honest, I haven't done a whole fucking pile. I can't understand this this whole thing, like where I've got this reputation mm -hmm. from. Yeah. I've, do you know what? I have very minimal amount of beats out, like. Yeah. And people are like, oh, that's good. People are like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, like, you know, you're just kind of west or whatever, like. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But, like, nothing, like. Yeah. I don't want, do you know what I mean? Don't I didn't say nothing, Mac. I didn't say oh, nothing. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like, I haven't, I haven't a whole pile of a workload yeah, yeah. put out, like, and people are giving me praise, and I'm like, shit, what did I do? Mm. I didn't do shit. Wait till I get started. Mm. Do you know what's, what's going to happen when I get started? I mm. made you a couple of beats there a while ago. I, they haven't even seen the light of day yet. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So. And, Fucking shit's bananas, like simple. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Put it straight, like. So, uh, what about like the Red Bull Academy? You're the inductee of the Red yeah. Bull Academy. What's that about? That's what I'm talking about. I kind of. It was just a. I reckon it was just fucking pat luck. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I don't win nothing. I never win. I didn't even win a tin of biscuits in a raffle or nothing like yeah. that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was just. It was just like I think it was timing, like. Yeah. Because for me. I needed something like that to kind of evaluate my position in my head and kind of yeah. go, Jesus, I'm at a certain level. Because mm -hmm. before that, I mean, I'm sure with every producer or rapper, mm -hmm. you're always going to be criticising yourself and you're always going to be like fucking, do you know, you're always going to be like, oh, am I good enough? And mm -hmm. you're always going to be thinking about the scene and in your head going like, oh, fuck it, if I did this now, like I'd be on, mm -hmm. on a power with this fella and I. Mm -hmm. But... I mean, fucking end of the day, what the Red Bull Academy did for me was just let me know, like. Mm -hmm. And when I say let me know, let me know I was fucking doing something right, like. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Come from, you've seen, you walk down through my town. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a fucking <laughs> urban landscape, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. To come from that, I know it's, it's not about where you're from, it's more where you're at, like, whatever. Yeah. Like, but to come from that and to be up there with, like, Six among sixty of the whatever you could say elite musicians or yeah. up, up and coming musicians in the world, like. and that that was just a fucking eye opener for me. Yeah. So that's was that solely for production, Sending. or is that, or is that for rapping or what? what was well, that? like if you're a singer or whatever. Yeah. Like there was guys there now, and they they were DJs and they're yeah. you know, playing whatever techno or yeah. house music, like. Yeah. There were singers there. Mhm. Mm there was like singer songwriters mm -hmm. and that like it's it's just basically musicians mm -hmm. that are, aren't doing something that's stale do you know mm -hmm. well I won't say they're stale but mm -hmm. musicians that are doing fresh stuff that's real fucking good like you mm -hmm. know and real artistic like give yeah, so basically about that like yeah so you're working with some of the lads from court <coughs> the lads from Dublin what do you think of the Irish scene at the moment um, what do you, think, uh, do you think there is like a big scene? Do you think it's a small scene, or how far behind do you think it is from like all like the British scene or the American scene? The British scene, the Irish scene is very like I wouldn't say on the level of music, but on the level of business, the Irish scene is very much behind the British scene. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because there, there's a lot. Like I won't say I wouldn't even say a lot, but there is. You could say two or three handfuls of Irish acts and MCs mm -hmm. that are doing the thing and they're doing the fucking good like. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Whereas in Britain you've got, you know, you've got a lot, a lot of good acts like. Mm -hmm. Do you know? But it, it takes a while too because the population obviously is mm -hmm. fucking lower like and mm -hmm. fucking the whole interest like you got you get a lot of like post eight mile MCs you know mm -hmm. coming out like mm -hmm. so. That's that's kind of generated an interest in it as well, like whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. I think personally, I think it's a bad thing mm -hmm. because they're just, do you know what I mean? These are young fellas who really haven't got a clue about hip hop, haven't researched, haven't looked up on the old school of it. Don't know nothing about the old school of Irish hip hop, mm -hmm. let alone hip hop as a whole. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Not not if you told them about scary or they'd be like, what? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know, but I heard this new fucking whatever, this new Scooby track. Mm -hmm. Do you know, whatever, like, but 
I'd say the Irish scene, it's growing. Mm-hmm. But I think it will always be a case of there will always only be only ever be a handful of people doing it good. I mean, you look you look at what the likes of Flip and New Sense are doing now, like mm-hmm. that's you know they're doing it with a professional attitude and yeah, mind, like. yeah, yeah so definitely. If people can kind of take example from their lead mm-hmm. we'll all be making better music and we'll be banging them out like that way do you know what I mean yeah. like that. DJ Mick DJ Mick DJ Mick yeah definitely DJ Mick's like a lot of a lot of these newer heads don't know about DJ Mick or, yeah but man's got serious beats like if you like it's knocking it's fucking it's hip hop do you know what I mean yeah He'd be one anyway. Definitely Mike Donnelly. Mm-hmm. He's good. I like what he does. You know, he's, he's a great all around producer and he can do stuff. He does stuff like that doesn't have samples, but it sounds like it has samples in it. Like, mm. That's fucking crazy. Like, the same as like, he's like the Irish Scott Storch or whatever. Like, mm. Yeah. Way, he's like, or the Irish Dr. Trey or whatever. Like, that's what he was calling before. Like, but it's like, right, make. Mike Donnelly, DJ Flip. Flip mm-hmm. is doing his thing. Do you know? Mm-hmm. And he's always giving me props and I appreciate that. And I like people, you know, give give me the props, like. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm, you know, that sounds a bit fucking big, I don't know, but. <laughs> I, I like it. I like to be. Do you know, I like, I like to, to have my work appreciated in a sense. Or to have someone of that level, like. Mm-hmm. Like Flip's level, like. Mm-hmm. You know, with regards like what he's done, his achievements, and that like to say like you're doing good shit. Like that's obviously someone who knows something. The same with DJ Mick mm-hmm. and whoever. Like you know, like I went up to Mick and rerounded, and, mm-hmm. and you know they said they like what I was fucking doing. Like and that's that's fucking. Who else can I say? Mass shops. Yeah. Technical. From the correct minds, he's doing some yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. He's doing uh-huh. some shit. I swear to fuck, when I'm down to them, do that track. Yeah. You can leave this in the DVD. When I'm down to them, do that track. We did track, and I was like, shit, I'm untouchable. This is a great track. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Dude fucking found that sample. That nothing sample. Yeah. I, I flipped it, dude found it. Yeah. Right? But when I, when, I, when I went away, I was like, yeah, shit, man. This is crazy, this, this is going to be the best track on the fucking CD. Yeah. I didn't even hear the CD yet, like. Yeah. But I just heard some of the new shit they're doing. Yeah. Like, you play shit down the phone. I remember one night here, I, I was fucking not off my head, like. Yeah. I rang him up, he plays shit down the phone. I was like, shit, I'm slipping, I'm slipping, I'm slipping. Young fella's catching up to me. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and it's like, I rang him back and I was like, playing a piece down the phone. He's like, yeah, no, class. And I was all paranoid and shit, and I was like, <laughs> He's only saying that, now. he's only saying that. <laughs> <laughs> so he's had a freak, you know, with Kev from the Great Minds, yeah, he's fucking. I like what he is doing, man. You say you don't class yourself as a rapper, and I know, I know I keep going on to this topic, <laughs> <coughs> but like, what just made you decide just to have a stab at it and have a try at it? Like the rapping? What well, like you... I said before, I did an interview before for a paper. Mm-hmm. In car, and it's basically what it was was too many beats and lazy MCs mm-hmm. equals Scooby rapping. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It was like it was a matter of I I'd, I'd say I'd ring a fellow yeah. up uh, and I'd say yeah hey, I'd class be there you know I can do whatever like mm-hmm. yeah yeah be on there Thursday yeah yeah whatever so you know, won't turn up yeah or whatever I'd seen someone beat. And he'd be like, oh yeah, I like that one, but I'm not too sure, you know, I'm whatever, like. Mm-hmm. So I just got to stage, that's when I did that, sorry, to grab the mic track. Yeah. I was just like, that was me pissed off, that was just mm. me saying, fuck ye anyway. <laughs> you could have had this beat, but you didn't fucking step up, like. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You missed out, like, yeah, you fucking go, ha, 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 whatever, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, look at this, you could have had it, no, you don't. So, no. yeah. so that's basically that's how I got into rap. No, I was I was messing around, dabbling a bit when I was in the trilogy, like, but mm. it was nothing fucking major. The same as I think. No, it's it's still nothing major. I'm just 
I'm just trying to fill the space in the track sometimes. You know yeah. I mean? But I'm always trying to bring a message in what I say, or it's always, I'm always trying to make sure it's meaningful or there's some bit of substance to it, like, rather than just rapping some fucking random bullshit for the sake of rhyming. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But that's why it takes, it takes me so long to write, like, you know. So that's why I wouldn't class myself as an MC, because MCs just have it, you know. Yeah. Whereas I'm, like, I'm trying to, like, be fucking blood out of a stone, trying to get 16 bears, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Don't be on the internet, young fellas, talking shit. Do you know? Yeah. And saying, oh, Scooby, I wouldn't buy nothing off him or whatever. Man, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you don't have to buy nothing off me. I don't need little saps like you fucking... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're not the be all and end all of me. I'm way above the fucking level of you. Yeah. So you can talk shit about me all you like and then I don't care. Yeah. Do you know, and you can talk shit about the whole scene and this everyone. Because... I know that a lot with young fellas they mm. like to diss because they seen 50 Cent came up on that whole buzz mm -hmm. so they think yeah that's cool I want to do that mm -hmm. I want to have everybody hate me I want to be pure torn like Kali said you think the website's the whole scene you're bleeding wrong don't get caught up in the internet young fellas and if you want to talk shit about someone else's songs make sure you, you've got something to back it up mm -hmm. do you know what I mean yeah. If you want to be coming on some super fucking cool shit to be slagging someone like Flip or fucking myself or mm -hmm. fucking Rira or fucking Mick or mm -hmm. Collie or mm -hmm. Rob Kelly. Mm -hmm. So just think before you talk. Collie is originally from Dublin but has been living in court for the past few months. He's one of the few artists that gain commercial success and has earned him a record deal with Universal Records. Tell us a bit about your, the label you signed for. Um, well, yeah, the label I'm on is basically, it's called Ed Sam at the time, and it's actually, it's, a, it's an independent label, but it's being distributed by Universal. Like, like, we have a kind of a deal with them, and like, that is fucking, only like two or three artists in Ireland have, would have a deal with Universal on the same terms. Yeah. Uh, I think Mark McCain has a similar deal, and one or two others who I don't really remember their names. Like, mm -hmm. I was lucky to remember Mark McCain. Like, but, uh, no, basically, it's, 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 we kind of get the best of both worlds because we can do what the fuck we want. Like, no one's going to be saying, do this tune, and oh, you can't go here, and then and just crap. And like, at the same time, we'll get all the fucking interviews and fucking in stars and shit like that. Like, mm -hmm. if you're a major or anything, yeah. like, like, obviously, I've done it. Like, when the album came out, I did a few in stars. And, like, some of them were cool or whatever, like, and fucking some of them were like, fucking. And when the cunts are in there, kind of looking at you like a mentor, I'm just looking at you like. Fuck out of me, what are you even doing with me? But you kind of got a mixed, mixed, uh, mixed bag with it all right, but uh, but no, but definitely, like, like, same with everything, man. Like, we do the chills myself, we don't have to write them, we're happy, don't we? Like, I did, like, fucking, when 50 was over there, I was talking about it, it's the only thing I said in Dublin, and one night in Belfast, and yeah. the two in Dublin were fucking great, like, the crowd seemed to enjoy it and all that shit, and then we looked at Belfast, and as I knew, it was got a slightly more of a mixed bag, like, yeah. yeah. like there's as many fucking bills that I was fucking, yeah, or whatever, yeah. Like, which is fair enough, like, get ourselves, like, you know what? Some people take it, like I said, man, like, I'm not fucking, I'm not trying to fucking, uh, like, stuff on top of being original and that shit, like, it's funny, because I was doing things that maybe they wouldn't really care, like, generally, but, because obviously it's more sensitive subjects, sometimes, like, to a certain extent, like, you know, and so they're probably, like, like I said, half-half, like, you know, and some of them were like, oh, yeah, grand, and they're like, oh, yeah, fucking get off, you're white, like, I'm used to it, like, <laughs> it's good, like, A hundred percent guaranteed Irish, and I'm not trying to be American or black and white. Like a bottle of shirt and you can bounce if you want. But I'm starting to do a twist. You have a cop to an eye joy, we leave the dance floor in bits. We leave the competition in the canop, air on all or four or more like them things. I guess I go around home with all the mom and I'm a savage, but me head's like a cabbage. Just can't go wash the gums. I guess time it comes to wash it, go and swim and rush it, which means I'm drinking. Orange and Irish. If you look at me, Irish, you'll see what's lying deep down inside us. I say, do you agree? You say, do you smell it? I say, don't give me shit. You give me shit and allow the stick. Like when I met George Bush, I had to give him a push. I gave him a young, I gave him a rush because I'm in 
two down the middle. I split perfectly evenly half a sound of yours there is as well, but even secretly. Yeah. I'm laughing at the punch that Toddy would stop. All he wanted is the nod and a hot plan that we got. Cause out of the props and the spot at the top wants to drop. So when you hear pops in the shop and coughing a lot, need to cut down in the splits, constantly stones for you always walk around with a grin. Parts that have come to my grin. I'm a pro citizen, not finished. Only just about to begin, so don't be doubting this kid. Give me time to surprise and realize what I'm like with the mic, the voice. So I'm wise with the lines that excite your mic. Leave you guys behind because I'm twice as nice. And why would I lie? Lyrics speak for itself. You don't get the punchlines, you'll be needing some help. Pissed off, you'll never see your CD on the shelf. When I'm a more turntables in the needle itself. Yo! You send me music to taste, Phil, go on with your gay fool You're definitely the fiend that people bait up and play at school You may fool others, but you're secretly like me You walk barefoot, wear me feet are wearing the Nike It just might be you're a faggot and you let a baby smack you You're scared from when Father Fortune baby sat you You're fucking fool, but I'm freestyling, I'm rhyming I'm fucking twice as nice, I think you got you He's there with his hands in his pocket Pass me the bike, boy, I'll rip it like a rocket Down beside the trist, you're getting pissed with GMC on the beat, he's producing with his mouth He's fucking stuff for words Have you heard about the boys? Have you heard about the pros? Cause we be rapping and we be tapping, we be happening story, boy. I fucking think I passed the mic. Yeah. Me down the lane with 16 boys rapping on video for urbanize. It's the miggity 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 Matt Carthy. You know I'm not Chris Cross, but I am quite young. I won't say that right because that sounds quite dumb. Mm. I mean, it smells quite like dumb. <laughs> <laughs> my name is my name. No. My. my <laughs> My name is my initials, it's not hard to see You can call me Gary Mac, Gary Gaz or McCarthy I'm always rapping when I'm getting at those parties People be cops, go up and smarties Smarties, can't stand these things Step and fight at night, try to rob the wallet from your dreams Hell thing, what you looking at? Shut the fuck up, you suck it, Jamie, you're not gonna cash why would I be? I'm straight, you masturbate to gay porn When you wake up at the dawn with a morning horn Anyway, back to my rhythm with him I'm not gonna get him hit him But a hill with a little rapping He's got bodies with him Eeny, meeny, my no more Which one of you wants more? Whether it be girls or boys I'm gonna make you scream for it! Underground sound of nothing but a G thing, which I bang load. The feeling that I got was such an energetic feeling, adrenaline rushing in my body like I'm steaming. My head fucking nodding side to side like I was needing. I keep feeling to catch my head and say, Stop it, bone your breathing. Right, I'm lyrically intact and plus the spare, so when I'm rapping, so I hit the stagey time and break it down like I'm a mad thing. Pardon me to be the moldy fiend that acts the bollocks. Walking through the cold, button people with a problem. I apologize, I'm rags so high, you're jealous, by on bottom line. When Bonnie's on the fucking mic, it goes like this from side to side. Here we go, another rhythm kicking with my tongue, and when I spin it like this, boy, you know I'm number one. We got free one or GMC, Mickey got you, me, Nashon Bugal, Donna Kali. Hand up yours from the city, you know my mind's going slow. And I'm thinking too fast, I'm gonna stop this. No one past the mic to Mickey Gatch. Oh, hey. 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 
Scooby Vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Scooby Vibe. Yeah. Scooby Vibe. See this shit right here, I think it's a fucking shame. But this dude here forgot to mention my name, but that's okay. I just spit it anywhere, and he said you like fellas. When I'm up on the mic, you're doing it like fellas. Kick back and relax, just listen a minute. It's gonna be all up in your ear, all up in it, yeah. Just like your father and your mother when you were made, but she said she didn't want you. She said she wanted a fucking smarter. This is whack as fuck, and I know. So I pass it to him, he's just another MC down the back lane, you know how we flow, cause all these points. <laughs> Do not attempt to not the verse to die, this could be on the mic, bringing this raw style, you know what? I'm the king of the beats, I sap the chop and you then hit the streets, I didn't come here to claim supremacy. I just wanted you to stand and notice me, notice that I can make rhymes as well as beats. And hopefully by now I got you jumping in your seats. You wanna battle? Cause I got your girl like tattoo, all the things she said, they get in the bed, she get me head. My flow is sweet as fuck, yours is diabetic, gave me CD, EF, fucking pathetic, call a medic. You're gonna need some serious help, cause your rap is super witchy, and you're about to get dealt. A blow to the face, blow all over the place. I started as a battle and it opens a court case. And I'm not even a rapper. Sitting low in the kitchen. Thinking what life would be like if I was different They say I got a gift, that being my difference Don't think of the consequences before acting Resolving in hassle Cause I don't wanna blow up Cause I'm not a bomb, I wanna grow up And prove people around with my songs The beats that I make They mightn't be the best But the energy I give it, yeah that's something else I wreck my own head Thinking about it so much Music is the one I trust and love to love we never fight, except when I can't write But you have me in the light Every time I'm on the mic, my rhymes They rise high like the clouds in the sky I shine like the sun, I breeze through like I can fly I hit pop level on another level Developing, telling them my story and selling it You know I got a sense in this so serious And here I let you might be liking me less Or liking me more, I couldn't give a shit I'm just keeping it raw And forevermore Here the ground, this is Irish love From the heart and the soul Rhymes that I wrote to describe where this home See, hip hop will grow with the green mountain gold In the soda cock city where the story gets told Gonna grow in the grave, the bodies are gonna beat through the door. I'm buckled down, I be the fiend with the beats in the floor. Bonnie got a rhythm, make the lights on your phone. Okay, wait a minute, put the beat on hold. Slow down, turn around, girl, and hit that floor. Speed it back up again, but don't lose control. Music is the key, feel free to make more. Banging and nodding your head and moving to the beat. CP is for bass, bones, and bony. We'll be seeing this case if you race to your feet. Bias me in the place that makes it unreal, yeah. Don't stop doing what you're doing Bonnie's on the mic, no going my boy I don't really know boy what I'm gonna do Everybody whistling and I don't have a clue what to say next But I'll just keep going with my style See it's B-O-N-Y on the motherfucking mic But there is no mic or motherfuckers here Scooby watch the crack mic, get up out of there I didn't mention your name the last time But no Bonnie's with the rhymes about to do it like this Alright, Mickey Gatchers always talking about being nice But you're not that nice, go on make a giant bite Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> Dookie picked it up by give it to the bureau. So keep in mind if the shades come true, then we won't have to hide it cause they got boobs anyway. It's a book on a kick, on a club old strap, on a dance on tune kick. Get up on that. When we're up on a stage kid, you know what is happening. The girls go straight up, the fellas is rapping. I'm up in no pants, you're sweet. With the hundreds of feet, they blast the beats. 
Don't bring that beat back to it. I say to the eyes, I've got tunes with the binds, cause we made it to spell. I represent the rebel cone, it gets where they were born. In the back of a horse that holds the farm, kid. Yeah. Don't get cheap, cause they give you a slap fool. And play all the black fools, don't play that cool. Listen, I'm pissing. The book of line of the missing, we start rapping when they fuck me. We're talking about the shop, you mark against the archer, no. Of the rebels with the channel, we're rapping, we're shouting, and telling straight, kid. On the bar, you know who we flow with, so like Sean Paul. No one ever still, but no, we don't stall. Always on the move, and chasing all the dance. Well, I know you love that chase. Yeah. I know you're buzzing at the bush, you get off at the base, you get a kiss and you get off at the stage, kid. Go on, kid. You know I'm straight. Go on, I said. Yeah. Dublin is the heart of the Irish hip hop scene. That's where most of the gigs go on, and that's where most of the MCs are from. Rob Kelly is doing a lot of shit at the minute. The former Battle Champ of Ireland is making waves not only in the UK, but in the big US of A. So much so that he's been invited onto the 16 Bars competition. The same competition that made Jin famous. Rob is the only non American to be invited onto the show. I have big respect for the big man, as he's one of the few guys that's doing shit on the business side of things, but more importantly, getting his music heard across the sea. Yeah, I think yeah. I Actually, I don't know. I, I have a tape with me at home where people will kill to get all these tapes. Me rhyming over a, a public enemy instrumental. Yeah. Um, I'm doing the words to Scary Ears, Double Cube. <laughs> and I have them, but it's never coming out. <laughs> uh, I think I always have my accident. I think I definitely when I, when I, when I, maybe when I was a kid, I might have had my accent for a while, but well, definitely when I, um, when I started doing a series, I always just had my own accent. How important do you think it is to have your own accent? It's hugely important. Like, you're a fraud. Like, you don't have your own accent, you're a fraud. Like, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Definitely, you can't. I mean, you can't be legit if you don't use your own accent. And them South rappers have them South accents. You know how them South rappers with a New York accent. You know how a New York rapper with a West Coast accent. So I mean, I mean, obviously it's hard for, for kids to make the transition and be comfortable using their own voice and that because some people think it doesn't sound dope on a mic or whatever. But I mean, as far as I'm concerned, if you're not using your own accent, you're wrong. So what do you think of the state of the Irish hip hop scene? Yourself, I know yourself. You're working in America with the, and Britain, of course. Um, how far along do you think Ireland is before we can sort of catch up and get into the charts? We're way behind. We're way behind. We're kidding ourselves on a little bit over here because um, we like to think that the scene is further on than it is. Well, in reality, the standard is not that great. I mean, apart from like, I'm not down everybody, but because everybody's a lot of a lot of the acts that have come along have only gone into the pop recently, mm -hmm. and they're making a transition into rhyming very fast, mm -hmm. and they're rushing a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And I just don't. I think a lot of it doesn't sound polished or whatever. I'm not trying to say like overproduced, but a lot of it yeah. doesn't sound, sound like a finished article to me. But I mean, there's a couple of crews that I have like huge respect for. There's a couple of rappers that I have huge respect for that I listen to. Well, I'm not mm -hmm. going to kid anybody on, and I'm not trying to sound an argument with that, but yeah. I'm not trying to kid anybody on and say that it's anyway further than it is. I mean, there's one or two hot people, bro. Mm -hmm. how, you, how do you find working in America and working with these British artists, being being Irish? Yeah, I get nothing but love really in America. It's, it surprised me because, to an extent, mm -hmm. I get more love over there than I do over here because I thought, like, my conception would be always that they would run you down for the accent, that it wouldn't take you seriously, right? Mm -hmm. And I said this before, and again, I'm not trying to sound big headed or whatever, mm -hmm. so I hope that doesn't come across yeah. like that made it. But I think once you combine, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what accent you have or whatever, you can make the transition to being told. I mean, we're in the UK MCs, they have totally different accents, and mm -hmm. like, this is some French hip hop. As long as you can rhyme, and you sound dope right now, then you have a chance of making it so. What do you think? Is there, is there a novelty factor at all? Do you think? Maybe, maybe, I mean. Yeah, maybe a little bit, but I mean, there's a huge amount of uh, Irish Americans in the States mm -hmm. too. Yeah. They're very proud of the parties and that, like, so I get mails from them all the time saying that they're representing them, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, if there's, I don't know if there's a novel, novelty thing where it's off it, but again, like, once you can rhyme all the time, and you're happy with your, you're given a, a top quality product, then you should be able to stand up against it. Right, so you're like the ex file champ of Ireland then? How long, or how long have you been battling for and when did you finish battling? Or? I finished battling after the battle I had with Ryan Fisk, um, which was just like an exhibition thing that they asked me to do because he was up against Scribble Jam. I started battling really because at the time 
all the battles were happening in Dublin. It was around the time that ate my movie. Mm-hmm. So all the rappers who were winning the battles were getting props for being like the double shopper in Ireland. Yeah. So that's really the only way, reason I ended it because I wanted to be the double shopper in Ireland. I wanted to be the best at what I was doing. So that's what it took to get a bit of the spotlight that I wanted to be. So his first battle, I got robbed. Second one, Leech people. <laughs> and then I kind of copped on to what was going on, so I never got beaten in again in Ireland. So I won two, two battles out all the rounds. And then the national championship, which was the 8 mile. But I mean, as far as battling goes, I'm not even really that bothered on it. I don't yeah. follow too much of it. I mean, it's okay, it's, not, it's okay to be able to do it, but I mean, it's not going to push your career forward being a bad MC. Do you think, do you think you shocked um, Ryanfest for your battle techniques? Did I, did I shock them? Shock them? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I mean, I'm afraid it's like. Right. I'm not going to lie to you saying that I hadn't like got a few lines here and there for yeah. first because I knew who he was and he didn't know who I was so it was harder for him. He got me with a, good, a couple of good ones though. So uh, the 16 bars, what's happening in the situation over there? The 16 bars is a, is a pay-per-view event that's happening in the United States and it's, uh, it's got like a load of uh, mixtape artists competing against each other on stage. And for a prize of one million dollars, and they found me uh, through being the unsigned thief on DJ Vlad's website. Mm-hmm. Um, and they contacted me from there, and they flew a camera crew over to, to meet me in that last year. It's been, it's been delayed over some issues with the TV station, and it's actually been held up longer than I thought it would be. But uh, I speak to them nearly every weekend, and I'm sure that's still going ahead. And I'm still getting paid, so mm-hmm. I could go for them. So, uh, what stuff do you actually have out at the minute? Um, I had the collection out that sold out. I just put that little mixtape out when I was getting ready. I was on a situation where I was going to be doing something with Universal Records, mm-hmm. and it didn't actually work out. We were doing a compilation, and I recorded four tracks for it. And mm-hmm. um, when I was sitting on those tracks, and I said I'd stick them on a mixtape, so I had like put your key on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, DJ, uh, DJ Smalls, 50 Cent, the intro. Yeah. That, that, and I only just put it out like locally, but it got heavily bootlegged across Europe. I get emails from Germany, from fucking Estonia, people, and people saying that they had the collection. So that's just S, fucking S layer beyond all belief. Mm-hmm. And I'm doing this thing now, bragging rights. I don't want to really jump into an album until I have time to put my heart and soul in it. So yeah. I'm just kind of keeping, people, keeping the neighborhood there, keeping mm-hmm. people happy with just the regular stuff. I'm doing bragging rights you now. It's almost completed. And I signed a huge distribution deal for it with Pickwick Records in the UK. Mm-hmm. Um, and it has guest appearances from Frankie Punches, that's my boy from Brooklyn, uh, SAS, who you know, the mm-hmm. UK hip hop scene, Baby Blue, who you know, from the UK hip hop scene. Yeah, my man Zach who's playing tonight. Yeah, we have production from Flip, Mike Donnelly, the local producer, Scooby, obviously Scooby, shout out Scooby. And yep. um, we have a American producer called Nino from Soundsmith who did stuff with Fabulous and Young Jeezy and GQ Beats who did stuff with MOP. Another producer that I'm actually working with is doing some stuff with Cassidy and Ball Clubs and Amity so but I mean I'm just really getting this out before the album comes out and then, then you're gonna see the really 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 So what mixtapes are you actually on? Is there like any of the Yeah I'm on um, I'm on all the DJ Watts mixtapes he's uh from the DJ for the street scoopers mm-hmm. um, I'm on Frankie Clutch's mixtapes, the clientele ones, I'm on ASAS mixtapes, the dipset mixtapes, I'm on a lot of regional mixtapes in the south um, I want a lot of these tapes like in the mid as well, they were up and coming DJ, so I get around with Um, congratulations by the way on the rap mullet competition that you won. I get on with it. <laughs> yeah. Um, how did that come about? Rap mullet is like a real prestigious site um, for the mixtape scene, whatever. So mm-hmm. we had like, I heard from a couple of A&Rs that, um, that the artist of the month, mm-hmm. that a lot of A&Rs are paying attention to the who is the artist of the month. So I ended the joint that I did with Nino, the criminal minded one, mm-hmm. and I won by pretty large last night at the beginning. Um, <laughs> so it was the first ever Irish, or first ever Irish, and first ever non-American to win that. And the only non-American in the 16 bars, and the only non-American on mixtapes in the states. So pretty good then. <laughs> so you're getting the name, the Mick from the mixtapes. Yeah, the Mick from the mixtapes. Yeah. Um. I just thought it was something. I thought it was something that I said it in a rhyme one time, and I thought it sounded dope, so I stuck with it. <laughs> so, well, we're looking out for the Bragg and Rights EP. Uh-huh. Um, mixtape. Mixtape, sorry, uh-huh. sorry. Um, the 16 bars competition, which will uh-huh. be coming soon, uh-huh. and more mixtapes. Right, whenever you're ready, man. All right. All right. This is Rob Kelly. Check it out. I'm doing a little uh, exclusive from the uh, urban nights, all the way from Antrim. Shout out to all the people up in the north. Uh, Shout out to all the Western people that come up.
I got 16s, action packed, the Charles Bronson, Rob Kelly show the rain face, the Mark Bronson. You think I give a fuck if you rap and wanna get on, son? You wanna rap or give you a rapper, the Jack Johnson, like Ron Burgundy. Rappers are certainly get punched in the grill until it turns color purpley. Like Oprah, you fucking dope, yeah. You think you wanna tangle, Curly? I put my hand around your throat and squeeze your fucking neck until the snot bubbles pop out of your nose. You're the type that's borrowing flows. Type to talk a tough talk, but I know you're a fake. You wouldn't fucking hit water if you're in the lake, and rappers wanna bite my style like a venomous snake, but I'm so fucking sick I make medicine shake, and fella you're not the same cause you use the same slang as me, if we were on death row you still couldn't hang with me, 16 bars pays me more than your salary, the ACQ bitch, old Liffy family. It can be argued that some of Rob's success has been partly due to his business partner Grant Leach and their label acquisition. The guy is a businessman at day and an MC at night. I spoke to the guy and asked him about the ACQ. I work with Rob Kelly and DJ Flip, and we're Acquisition Records. And now we're working with New Sense. Um, I've also, I know all the lads. I know everyone. Like so, in one capacity or another, I've rapped with people and been in battles or, and, and things with lots of other people but the people I actually work with would be then Rob Kelly, DJ Flip Did you on a day to day basis like yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. well it works well for us we got a good dynamic you know yeah yeah um, <coughs> cause Cal's a great worker as well you know what I mean so like we're actually trying to build a proper business with it mm, yeah, yeah. so it it, um, it works nicely when you got people that are committed to accomplishing the same goal that you are uh -huh. and that uh, have the ability to do it and then produce the goods. So, so what yeah. should we be looking out for? Uh, um, acquisition records, Grant Leach. Well what we should be looking out for is we've got a uh, Rob Kelly uh, mixtape coming out, Bragging Rights. We've got DJ Flip, Street Heat Volume 1. Yep. Classic it's gonna be. What about yourself? I've had a sneak preview. Uh, I got a track on that s Street Heat by uh, Flip. For the moment, I'm taking more of a Business background role. <laughs> trying to trying to sort the uh, <laughs> trying to cross the T's and dot the I's at the moment, rather than uh, actually doing shit. <coughs> um, it's G Leach and Rob Kell here to get your girls. DJ Flip on the cutties, the champ of the world. We got the company, the shares, and the business plan. Let's get down to business now, because I'm the businessman, and so I pay no regard to those pitiful sins because my love holds its meaning when the beat kicks in. I got to reevaluate just what, the, where the fuck we are, because I'm seeing more support than a push-up bra, and that's just how it is. Don't get angry, Sam. G Leach, I maintain like a handyman. We all make our bread and butter, and we covet our cars. We're all Lying in the gutter, but some look to the stars. I pray to God and confess each and every night. He blesses me, that's why I bless the mic. You see, if the shit's by me, well, then the chances are I probably rocks. I'm taking out you suckers like I'm confiscating lollipops. I'm cool with this. I've got to be discreet. You want to call me a pussy? Well, you are where you eat because I heard it all before. <laughs> You're gonna hurt me? Harley, get on blowing out your flame like it's a birthday party. DJ Flip is the third member of Acquisition and is a hot producer and former ITF World Champion DJ. He also formed Lucky Charm Records with Freeze Master Slick and toured America with the American MC Prozac Turner. I started to speak to him about Lucky Charm, his DJing and what he thought about the talent in Ireland. Tell us about Lucky Charm. And Lucky Charm Records is something me Freeze Master Slick started because I'm with Acquisition, I'm still with them. But we're just, this is just like our own thing to do. A side project? Other, yeah, it's just to do other projects that mm -hmm. Acquisition may not like. Dropping phone policy. That Acquisition That's good for the like phone? Or, <laughs> yeah, it's just like, oh, we want to, want to do our own shit as well. You know I mean? Yeah. Simple as, I want to put out my own music without any other focus. Straight up and down like 6 o'clock. Who would you highly rate in Ireland for DJing? What? Who would you highly rate in Ireland for DJing? Two Kai. He's a legend. He's my <laughs> biggest inspiration in Ireland. Mech. He's the overall legend. He's every Irish DJ's yeah. inspiration. Yeah. Savage Mayhem. Little gem now. That's the man now for the future. Gem. Yeah. Hopefully I'll pass the torch down to him and he'll bring it next level, you know? There's a good few DJ. I don't know my name everyone because I'll have to keep going, you know? <laughs> What do you think of like the Irish um, season? What like who would you highly rate to them? Messiah J. Robert Kelbert. Remember him? 
No. Rob Kelly. Uh, <laughs> Nui. There's a lot. There's, like, there's, everyone has their own flavour. Like, this one have their own styles of mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of shit, you know. I like everyone. Lem Jackson is my Kelly, Lem Jackson. And I love Filthy Rich. You won the, you won the world ATS. Right Tell us about that then. Eh? I won it in 2003-04, December, uh, in Prague, I went to the ITA Eastern Hemisphere first, representing Ireland, I won yeah. that. Then I went to the Worlds in Munich in Germany, 03, yeah? Yep. And it was on the 6th of December, it was a cold night, the <laughs> snow came down, it was, yeah, I, I won that then, and yeah, that's it, I won the Worlds. Woo! Uh, you competing for it again, or are you allowed to compete for it again? Yeah, I am. I, I, um, I well, defended it in 04, 05 and lost. Came second to Zorafik, who, who uh, it was actually on again last week. Yeah, it was on again the 17th of December. I was actually a judge this year. I'm yeah. like one again, two years running, so he's yeah. good, he's damn good. But I can, I can enter again if I want. I just, I'm gonna have to, it's so much hard it takes. Like it's, it's so, it takes so much area, you know. What do you want to do with yourself, man? What are you, what's the plan? I want to, I want to be fucking the Irish Neptunes, be a freeze. I can be for real. Freeze can be that other fucker no one knows. You done, you done the collie track, didn't you? Yeah, we did give it up, yeah. Um, any more tracks? Oh, yeah. Is there any more tracks that you're wanting? Yeah, me and Nui have an EP coming out called The Wife EP. Me and Freeze have a, an EP coming out called The Sold Out EP, which is just all Irish rappers. Yeah. Me and Kali have something coming out as well, like the 12 inches. Of Street Heat DJ Flip presents like, so much shit. All right, thank you, Flip. Uh, Pleasure, I'm at Orbanoise. Buy the documentary and um, <laughs> buy everything that you see this face on. <laughs> Nuisance is a talented cunt. There's no other way of describing him. He's worked with acquisition and has his own group called Hot Property. Check this guy out as he's one to watch out for. How important do you think it is to rap in your own accent? Oh, I think it's fucking ideal. Personally, uh, I used to fucking do the whole bollocks, like, yeah. you know, but, uh, for a couple of years. But it's about fucking rap, it's about being yourself and mm -hmm. expressing what you think and all that kind of shit. So I'd be pretty stupid to do it in another accent. That's basically what I think. Um, and, I, and by the way, it was Kali that sorted me out on that <laughs> for the record. <laughs> Kali was like, I sent Kali a CD years ago. Like me and Kali are great mates. I sent him a CD years ago. Good like, Yeah, Kali, check this out. He's like, yeah, it's cool, but like, it's cracked with the whole accent for us. And I was like, yeah, oh yeah. And then he gave me advice and tips. He's like, just start talking and then start rapping. Mm -hmm. so, I it. so it's all due to Kali, basically. <laughs> How long have you been rapping for? I've been rapping for about six and a half years or so six now. Half years? I started when I was about twelve, believe it or not. <laughs> Continued since then. I was shit for about five years. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, I'm getting it together now. You know. <laughs> So this is your second album that you're releasing? Yeah, it's my second one. The first one was kind of for promotion and stuff like that. And uh, this one I'm kind of trying to expand and yeah. get as many people to hear as I possibly can. You know, so that's you, with this one. Who you got working on this one? Uh, I've got production-wise, I've got Ross Soul, I've got DJ Flip. I have a fella from around my area that's really well deep in Zara Beats. Yeah. Um, I've, got, yeah, I've got different shit. I've got DJ Needles as well. It's a sweet fucking DJ. And rapping-wise, I've got Kali, Ross Soul, Finesse. I've got um, Paul Donnelly. I've got Lorna Colony singing. I've got Andre Nicole singing. It's kind of more melodic, you know. It's not just kind of rap, per se. <laughs> what thing's going to move the scene forward? Like, um, do you think you're do you think just going to break one breakthrough? And then the rest are going to follow, or do you think we're all going to move one To be else? honest, I think uh, Ireland hasn't really found its sound, especially Dublin hasn't really found its sound yet. Like, there's a lot of us that sound different. Like, Kali mm -hmm. has a sound, we have our sound, mm -hmm. Urban have their sound. And yeah. It's just, I don't know, like, England, like, London especially has their own sound, but we don't really, you know. And it's like yeah. when we all kind of get that kind of one buzz going on, mm -hmm. we can all push it. Like, you know, at the moment, it's real loose, I think. Like, there's loads of potential, but I think yeah. we can get it going. So you've been gigging? How long have you been gigging for? Gigging for about three years or so. so Looks like you got experience in it anyway. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> so is there anything you want to promote? Apart from the album? Apart from the album, um, the album that I have right now with me in this big bag bag. And uh, it's called I Can Explain by the way. I'm not going to promote that though. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> that one, yeah, that's the... Hey, that's me and my album there. Alright, what's the crack? <laughs> <laughs> Me and Flip have uh, an EP coming out next month and uh, an Irish shirt to follow and up to Belfast and all I'll be saying hello to yep. you again. Called the Wife EP and that features Wordsworth and 
scoops couple of other lads, Prozac, Turner, and people like that. So, what you have to be so mysterious, just let me know you. And even think it true, you plan it quick to let me go. We have some good times, drinks, and then a bit of kissing. But that's it, Mr. Campy, you must have a twist and say, Young Lord, forget the losers, your game's so wrong, and you best to prove it. How can you detest the nuisance? You make clueless, new excuses. You need to chill out and look at me for what I am. I mean, I never claim to be the fucking world's hardest man. And I'm not perfect, but I think it's true. You do my party, but you're a girl that's just feening for a load of money. Say you're gone and you won't be back quick. I won't fall for the bogey tactics. Know what I want and I won't be that shit. Be yourself a lonely actress. So, so we're along the line. We lost communication. You think we're going different places. You want me to Spain to Adelaide. When you're gonna get it through your pretty hair This is Hollywood Yeah, 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 yeah This is Hollywood No, 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 no Yeah, this is Hollywood This is real life, you're not paid to live it Yeah, this is Hollywood There's no status and no wages, missus No, this is Hollywood you're made a living. Now this ain't Hollywood. There's no stages and no wages, missus. Now this ain't Hollywood. So get your head out of that cloud. Give it up now. Give it up now. Give it up now. Give it up now. White noise. All that leech. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You fucking suck, man. Don't mind him. Another member of Hot Property is Filthy Rich. Rich is someone who has been keeping himself quiet for the past few while, but now is ready to burst into the front of the Irish hip hop scene. So, what level do you think Ireland's at at the moment? Um, what level is Ireland at? Well, it's kind of artists, like, uh, it's what level the artists are at, like, because there's a few artists in Ireland that are really at a good level, I think, like, and really at a progression level. And if you compare them to, say, like, English or American, mm -hmm. like, American artists, at the, like, I think they come on, out on top every time, like, for, mm -hmm. um, for what they do and, and the type of music. Like, I'd much rather listen to, like, to say, five MCs in Ireland who I, like, really respect. And I think that, like, I'd much rather listen to them and listen to what they have and what they will do in the next, say, five years compared to what... I, what I consider a great MC in America, what they'll do in the next five years. Like, I think the resources are there in Ireland, I think fucking the drive's there, and I think um, because it's a developing scene, mm -hmm. that you can go far and you can do a lot of shit. Like, so that's, that's what's cool. But as, as far as in total, in totality, mm -hmm. like, you can't really compare Ireland to a scene like England. England have done a lot for themselves, created their own styles, done, mm -hmm. um, they branched off. Now they are working with a lot of American artists. I know that was kind of their, their niche, like, oh, we don't need Americans, we don't need that fucking, we don't need that scene, blah, 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 but, like, uh, but they worked it well, they created their scene, and now they can add Americans into their scene instead mm -hmm. of, like, if they, instead of them fucking being in with the American scene, which is good, but Ireland is, Ireland's one to watch, like, cause there's no reason it shouldn't have uh, uh, quite a healthy scene and a lot, of, a lot of talent, like, in the next few years, so it's definitely one to watch. What well, time to move the Irish scene forward? What thing it needs? Uh, it's just one word, time, like, just fucking time, like, if people put in some time, they get uh, results out, like, everything in life, like, and all it is a matter of time. If anything needs time, like, fucking just... Do you think, like, TV or radio? Uh, yeah, well, they can, they can help, but, like, at the moment, there isn't anything, and I can't see them doing too yeah. much in, in the future. Um, you know, fucking awareness, like, the internet's such, a, such an amazing tool to fucking to network like with, with people and, and people that are in the scene and people you want to be in the scene. And I think if something's causing a, a tiny bit of a stir or, or like a stir in terms of music or entertainment or anything, media pick up on that, that's their job. Like so mm -hmm. like if it, if people are to keep doing what they're doing and actually have something worthwhile, then the media pick up on that. So you don't have to worry about trying to fucking push to get on, on radio. It's bullshit mm -hmm. anyway who listens to the radio like Enough bullshit, love with tack, lyrical play Still get my point across in a similar way What we need is MCs more creative with brains To be fresh like a daisy, cut raw like cocaine's Like a blind man stuck in a maze Fumble 
troubles his way Learns if he stays still then his trouble remains Filthy rich like the drugs in the vein Of a junkie insane Stole the game, gave the Irish a name I stay way above the competition watching them stare No need for Nike, already walking on air Create a mixture of trouble and flair Both hands in the air If you care for hip hop if you dare Because I don't talk much I'm not a fan of waffle When you stack them chips I'll be here to watch them topple Dick is like a cop and I'ma stop when I rock Morocco Take it international Block them like a damn embargo I'm in the awful Dutch gold like my life is ending Seriously I'm down on this world at mo That's no pretending I hear a beat now I'm back to positivity Pulling down your girl's pants backwards It's the pimp in me They think I'm hot feverish Fuck I'm burning sick The doctor says I need a freezer Pack on my esophagus Dropping hits like a boxer When he locks a fist From a top position In the ring But there's no stop to this I saw you're getting it's rich Filthy I'm out <laughs> Dean Artist takes a business approach to the Irish hip hop scene. He's formed a production label Realism Records. Take a look at what he has to say. I'm speaking to you before, you decided you wanted to go into like the business aspect of hip hop. Yeah. What made you think of that Eric? Um well I really when I started out I really wanted to just be a part of the Irish hip hop and help it grow. Yeah, you know, my yeah. plans were well, well ahead of me, I suppose, and making uh, making early hip hop big over here. But I mean, I don't know how many years it is off, but I, I think it's it's a good will. I mean, now as as we know, it's uh, the the main people that are involved are a community. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's only a small community. Yeah, definitely. And we all know each other. And that's um, they're the only people out there who's interested in the early hip hop scene. The only people who's buying the hit the early hip hop that's yeah. out, and you know, so. I don't know, the way I get into the business side, I don't know, for making music is my first thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I started the label to, to put my own artist out, which I haven't got around to yet, you know. But um, I'm kind of kept the artists I had, instead of finding new people, now I'm kind of focusing on making it a production company as well yeah, as a label, but more so a production company now than a label, you know. So this is a proper label here? This is Yeah, this is a proper company. Like it's, it's, it isn't like an internet sort of thing? That no, no. No. Definitely. As uh, people, I've had the site launching now for the last six months or more, and uh, it's been taking a while to get it up. But um, I like to have things done properly, and then people yeah. are saying to me, uh, um, like, we haven't seen any of your stuff or that like yeah. that. But I haven't been on the internet like a lot of people saying, oh, mm -hmm. my stuff is the best, and mm -hmm. you know, waiting to hear them. Just so I let I let people decide for themselves. And yeah, yeah. They're gonna hear the music cool, cool. when it's done, and rather than a lot of people are doing. Um, they're out doing tracks and I, I admire their dedication, you know, they're going and doing tracks to different people and they're putting it out and blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. But whereas I'm spending a month, maybe two months with one artist in the studio, finalising their stuff, getting yeah, it done yeah. proper, spend a month recording and mixing and then go on to the next one and then I'll master them all together, I'll have them mastered, you know. So mm -hmm. when it's all ready and ready to get out there, that's when I'll start planning and maybe even start putting smaller things in the shops or whatever, you know. When it's ready, when we feel it's ready. And so, how do you think we should advertise our ship up and how do you think we should get it out? What do you think the best ways would be? Um, I think the best way really is just to have all the good artists out there gigging, gigging yeah. as much as possible in places where you can attract all kind of crowds, you know. Project 77 is an underground style group that I have mad respect for both as people and as musicians. These guys have the right attitudes on what our ship up should be about. Check out what they have to say. What do you think of the Irish state of the Irish hip-hop scene? Um, um, I think it's pretty good, it's getting pretty good, man. Compared to like years ago, before we moved to Holland, we couldn't even get out on the CD that we're on vinyl. Now there's like battles, gigs, yeah. you know, it's big, it's big dogs playing on the stage, you know. It still really needs to grow a lot more than that, there's too much beef, I think, in Ireland. And what level do you actually think the Irish scene is at? Like how far behind America is? How many years? Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> You're chilling with me, Sam. I don't know, I don't really write a lot of American stuff at the minute anyway. Most of the stuff I listen to is stuff in the UK and be But the scene, the scene in general, it could be a lot it could be a lot better. Like, mm -hmm. like in London, 
this gigs were three, four, and nines, and MCs applied for five euros for one night, you know what I mean? And that's every night. It's true, yeah, it's here, always it's some hot shit on Yeah, you? here it's like one to one. It's still, it's still novelty, big money price tickets for yeah. the shit, yeah. you know what I mean? It's still like, Even for, like Irish, for like or... just Irish MCs, it's 10, 15 quid in, that's mm. just too much, but that's what people want to go. Yeah, it's ridiculous, So it needs to get people relaxed and the money saying, and let us all come together and take off together. Mm. And then are those your keeper. boxers there? I say, let's say. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, look at the arms. <laughs> Sniff it, <laughs> <and> up, <laughs> up. Get it in there. That's the little belly. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's the Guinness <laughs> belly. Yeah, yeah. We'll blur the belly. Sniff it up. Sniff it up. <laughs> the beat in the background here. Which one of you is me at that there then? Arnold. Tell us a bit about your beat making then. Uh, I don't know, I use, uh, I use Cubase, I use... Uh, don't give away too many secrets now. Oh, I'm not telling you. <laughs> no, secrets off, know. baby. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what, the, what there is to tell, man. I, I don't know. I make a pretty basic loop and uh, wait till the MC gets on it and then uh, develop out the beat. You know, yeah. you know I wouldn't uh, make a full developed tune around the first. I'll, uh, I'll make out like a 16 and an 8 loop. Yeah. And uh, whatever comes back, I'll, uh, I'll work, the, work it into the tune. What's your favourite style of beat? No favourite, every, every, every. Mash up, mash up. Is there any producers or anything that... Again, yeah. man, it's just so many. Like, I mean, obviously Primo and... Pete Rock. Uh, Pete Rock, yeah, these heads. I don't know if I'm feeling too many of the new style of beats or the new... The new beat makers. Uh, I don't know, man. Hmm. I don't know what I think about Kanye West, actually. I think he's a talented company, he's made, say. He's got bad taste. You know? Yeah. Full stuff. He's, he's talented, but he has bad taste. Makes bad choices. Curtis Mayfield thing, man, he should be shot. Ouch! Shot. Yeah, so there. Yeah. So, man, how do you keep that in? <laughs> <laughs> the diamonds are forever shit. That's yeah, a shit. Shit. I thought he was a prick about that, man. Because yeah. really, man, he comes out with a tune, right? And he, and he calls it Diamonds are Sierra Diamonds from Sierra Leone, right? Yeah. Highlighting the issues of the political side of Sierra Leone and yeah. diamond production, man. And then he has a. On the released version, he has no verses about Sierra Leone, and on the album bonus version, he has 16 yeah, and 32 no. about Sierra Leone, and the other half is about his fucking record label, and yeah. Jay Z and him are the best and the worst. Like, well, get off it, man. Be political, don't be. Don't fucking sell yourself on someone else's fucking yeah, harsh. Like down in the sky, she in the bath. All that shit, man, you know? She bastard. Yeah, man. Well, hey. my beats. <laughs> Something else. Amazing. Wait, well, I just want to promote that. Is there anything you just want to say? Um, watch out for the albums. Yeah, yeah watch out. Uh, my album's coming out. It's called uh, If I Broke Break It. That should be coming out this uh, start of this year. I've got a uh, single with uh, Rowdy and Nothing Can Stop Me. 12 inch should be coming out in the next month or two. Yeah. We've got, um, I don't know, any more names, I think. Oh, we're on that new sense uh, mixtape. New sense right? mixtape's coming out. I don't know what it's called. Rich, Big Rich, and his mates, or something. It's called yeah. <laughs> we're on that too. Uh, Rowdy, you're rocking on that as well. So, yeah, we've got some stuff coming. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. check www.projectmiddleslash.com for us. When the spit is so sharp, a man is straight Shirt for your heart. One of the trickiest, twisted bitches you've ever met by far. Flows raw, unpawed with force. We break laws, the wall packs attack. That's back to rebels that you cause. Told you don't fuck with this clique. You can't trick us around tricks because we invented this shit. Look, now your ego's dead, dead to prick. With terrific techniques for spitting six shit in the streets. We got the sickest beats in the top of lyricists. Retreat! With SM58s intimidating till you break. And if there is anything that I hate you, that'll, that'll be fake tonight. Swooping huge troops, we abuse and execute. No excuse, you move, you lose our group sense. Spooks, yeah. Confessing the truth, the seven's best at no dispute. And if you do if you do have any questions, come on, step and test this crew. Be a chew through here, you only feel your room boys too. It's true, you've got no fucking clues, so I choose to exclude your view. Alright. Nothing can stop me, I've been in this for too many years The you petty piss, I pressure me with too many fears Keep my mouth shut for no man, I shy from the truth I'm rhyming the fruits of 27 years of abuse Nothing can stop me, I've been in this for too many years The you petty piss, I pressure me with too many fears Keep my mouth shut for no man, I shy from the truth I'm rhyming the fruits of 27 years of abuse I spent my life short of stereotypes and burying hype But stand up for the fair in a fight And wishing all the things you wish for when you're new in the town True proven grounds of school yeah, is shaking you down Sick of seeing with these wariest eyes and wearing disguises Fitting people's various vibes and sparing surprises 
Five pride, trading lies, for silence, smiles and jokes, promoting and curious vials. Who's but wiser? I sit it back, I study the game, this rugged terrain shrinks to a grid in my brain. The battleground becomes a map to new forms of wisdom, slowly unencrypting pathways to the core of their system. Do what the world says and not what it does, you follow it first, until you see society work, left for the worst. They're ripped off, the bitter and cursed one. Lessons learned in life, no one had taught or rehearsed. No, they can stop me, I've been in this for too many years. For you, petty prisons, pressure me with too many fears. Keep my mouth shut for no man or shy from the truth. I'm riding the fruits of 27 years of abuse Nothing can stop me, I've been in this for too many years You petty prisoners pressure me with too many fears Keep my mouth shut for no man, I shy from the truth I'm riding the fruits of 27 years of abuse I'm sick of cuts of big mouths, open hands, empty pockets Seems to be the way these days I gotta choose to profit What? Fuck that, I did the work, now give me the money Chasing every fucking penny like I'm stealing it from you Get to know the system, join the dots with pearls of wisdom There's lessons there to learn if you're prepared to listen Prepared to risk them, sharing in the rarest of visions, the fairest Decisions and maybe when you're aware of a fiction like that, media hyping every fast in life. The practice feeding you facts and the recital of dies. Pull the wolf in your eye, you're only telling half it right. Like the big black books full of little white lies. And remember, your opinion's only one in six billion. And better men have died to say these things are awesome. That's feeling many walk worse paths than the ones we're treading. And above all to the death, I remain seven seven. Nothing can stop me. I've been in this for too many years. For you, petty priests, oppression me with too many fears. Keep my mouth shut for no matter, shy from the truth. I'm rhyming the fruits of twenty. Seven years of abuse. I can be nice about you. you. The crew known as Urban Intelligence ooze quality in their raps, whether they're talking about the rough lives that they live in the Ballymun estate or the state of the Irish hip hop scene. Now, their most famous track called Bring It On sparked a beef between themselves and Rob Kelly, New Sense, and Grant Leach. And you need to have talent to be taken on them sort of guys. Regardless who won that battle, though, Urban Intelligence are arguably one of the best groups in Ireland. What do you think of the Irish hip hop scene at the moment? Um, I know there's one song that you said something about the Irish hip hop scene, but uh, uh, <laughs> I don't really think like there is obviously a bit of a scene, you know. But like I don't know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't listen to a lot of Irish hip hop. Like probably the select few that I would listen <laughs> to. But um, I don't know. I don't think the scene is very strong. Like mm -hmm. you know, like there's probably five top people that you kind of that could. Mm -hmm. Maybe make a bit of an impact in, in England or whatever, but mm -hmm. apart from that, it's kind of you know, it's had a few not uh, a lot happening. Yeah, it's had a few false starts, like, and I think uh, a lot of people now are trying to trying to do the independent route, mm -hmm. which, which is great. I mean, there's there's no real money in it, but um, I think that's how you get a strong scene if people yeah. are really working to push their own stuff. That's the only way to make it better, you know. What's your response from England? What are they thinking of you? Um, we've been good. Yeah, like, like we've done. Like we've given CDs to. Like I've got a few young cousins, so I've given them CDs and they're really into it, you know. I think, um, I think, yeah, the accent really kind of... It's different. Yeah, yeah, just that, that really kind of lifts it out about, above mm -hmm. a lot of the other stuff. So, um, yeah. Would you, would you rather separate yourselves from the Irish scene and move on? Or would you like to move with them? No, I mean, like... I don't know what, what you mean by with. It's like, we're all trying to do our thing and it's great. Like, we, we get on well with, with a lot of the lads and, uh, I don't know, like, we've all got to really just push our own stuff. Yeah. If everyone's just like, focused enough, yeah. that's how the scene's going to grow. So it's not like we're working with or against yeah. or anything. We're just doing our thing and uh, hope people like it. People judge these places and all they find is high drug use, more cars and crime, a bad state of mind, maybe your mind's a state, selling drugs isn't a choice but a chance to make some money, no job because school couldn't accept a troubled teenager, the face neglect, of course he lacked respect for the so-called teachers, they said he'd never be shit so he grew weaker, his hate increased and peace by peace became a beast, he lost his mind and felt deceased, I was lucky at least, I was given a chance, the choice I made helped me advance and helped me glance past all the negativity and leave a life of crime for the noob and symphony next time before you judge consider the reality of what makes today's youth have this mentality <laughs> happy days fucking burn happy out. fucking days <laughs> Sarah Jerry is rated by many as Ireland's top MC his imaginative mind and theoretical energy comes across in his music his dad has been compared to the American MC C.H. Francis Decided to speak to MJ and asked him to tell us a little bit about himself, what he thought about the Irish hip hop scene.
Uh, what do you feel of the, the Irish pop scene at the minute? Um, what do you level think it's at? I'm probably going to sound like a bit of a party pooper, but um, there's only a few acts I like. Do you know what I mean? Like as in, um, I don't know. Like as in, there's a few, there's a few really good MCs yeah. and really good DJs, but no one has the full thing for me. Yeah. Like, absolutely, us included. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I, I mean, everyone's working to get that, but there's definitely loads of enthusiasm and people are into it. You know what I mean? But like as in, um, I just like to see more releases. I've said that since yeah. day one. I'd like to see, like, as in more people just bringing out stuff and, and going out on a limb, and people kind of go, oh, yeah, well, I'm broke and whatever, but, like, yep. you have to fucking take risks, and if you don't, you're fucked, because basically, like, I mean, whatever, if you can't put your own money into it and self-fund it and yeah. basically go for broke and bring mm -hmm. out a record just for, just for whatever, just to have a record out, you know what I mean? And it might not be financially sound, and people are probably going, yeah, that's great advice, you know, let's go fucking... And, but, like, if you don't bring out... Rec you need to speculate to accumulate cliché as it is. It's fucking true. So, basically, um, I think I'd like to see more people bring stuff out, because you're all good playing live, but then as in... You know, once you have, you're have you committed to vinyl, you're committed to CD, that's what fucking backs it up. So, um, that's so what pretty much the scandal. What about a uh, radio play or TV? Are you getting much coverage um, from that? Not at the moment because we've kind of nothing out, you know, but like as in, when we brought out our first album we did um, one or two brief television appearances mm -hmm. and then we did, um, we got a good bit of radio play and mm -hmm. every so often I get like a royalties check from fucking some weirdo in Denmark that latched on to us, so um, that's always nice when I'm in the red, but um, basically, uh, I don't know, it's kind of... Uh, I hope to get more in the future, but we haven't got, we've got a limited amount, you know what I mean? Nothing nothing exciting, you know what I mean? But like as in, a couple of DJs have decided they like us, good for them, you know what I mean? That's their problem. <laughs> um, I'm enjoying this mint and beer, by the way. <laughs> if, you, like, if you wanted to find, besides Jason Expert's music, where would you find it? Um, your best bet is, um, our site is down at the moment. We have a new site launching in about two to three weeks' time. Yep. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's called um, it's Messiah J and the Expert .com. We had MJX.com. Things fucked up. We lost that. And so it's Messiah J and the Expert .com, Like phonetically, whatever way spelled out. It's a bit of a bit of a, a Google bastard. But um, that's basically uh, what our new website is. But for the moment, you can hear us on MySpace. Or else you, can, you can pick. Well, I don't know if you can actually pick up our, our, our first album anymore because it's sold out. I think we sold the last copy there at the we played here uh, mm -hmm. last week and yeah. I think we sold the, sold the last couple of copies there but um, I don't think it's going to be repressed but uh, what's confusing you can, if you can find it you can pick it up or else uh, basic, basically MySpace is the best place where you can hear stuff but Messiah J and the expert.com will be mm -hmm. selling merchandise on that Pretty we have a new single coming out which is um, on our our own imprint which mm -hmm. will be coming out later so there will be more product available yeah <laughs> What about the label then? Uh, basically, the way we saw it was, um, we did loads of demos, um, we tried to get signed in the UK, people were interested, no one actually put their money where their yep. mouth was. Um, we were probably talking to labels that were too big for us in mm -hmm. hindsight, but uh, we just said to ourselves, fuck it, uh, let's go the indie route, the fucking rhyme sayers, the deaf jokes, the, the anti cons of this world did it. You know what I mean? They were kind of bastardized hip hop, which I think we are in some way, and um, just kind of like not quite here nor there. And um, so basically, it was just fucking. We just said, "Fuck it, set up our own label, bring out our own stuff." Now we don't we don't have to rely on other people. And so one of two things can happen: one, we get the experience and we decide, right, we're going to do it completely independently, make way more money, and uh, bring out our album and future releases, and then in a couple of years' time, sign people, whatever. Or else, someone picks up on us mm -hmm. and it's all nice so, so uh, would you like sign any other artists or was this just going to be for your own distribution who knows it, at the moment it's just kind of a, it's a case of just take care of ourselves 100% yeah. yeah. very selfish <laughs> don't care about <laughs> anyone else never really have in one way but I think you kind of need that you know what I mean to have that kind of fucking 
like that inbuilt camp mentality. Not camp, like as in camp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, yes, I'm gay. I'm out. I can't think it's time. No, no, no. Um, no, uh, I shouldn't be talking about sexuality, but um, basically that whole fucking, you know, siege mentality. That was the word I was looking for. The siege mentality, where it's kind of like a sin. It's us against the world, and I mean, I know that sounds really cliche, and it sounds like something Queen would have said before. Yeah. Live, eh? It's us against the world. We're the greatest band on earth. But if you don't think like that, you're fucked. Yeah. You have to think you're the shit. And even if you aren't, you'll find out that you aren't, and then you'll, you'll persevere and combine with self belief. Is what I think is the, the the basis of any fucking band. I'm just ranting now. <laughs> <laughs> like what? What do you expect from the scene in the next few years? Um, as a whole, I think I think rappers who are uh, who are developing mm -hmm. will. Because we're all developing, yeah. you know what I mean? Like I said, they'll, but they'll basically uh, develop, if yeah. that makes any sense. Yeah. They'll basically get to a stage where it's kind of like, okay, you know, I was going to do a stupid analogy with a butterfly and a caterpillar, but that would have been terrible. So um, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that. Uh, no, but basically, um, people will raw potential will become like kind of actual solid talent yeah. hopefully do you know what I mean yeah. that's the rosy eye thing but then again people were saying that 10 years ago and yeah. like as in there's been still a fucking handful of releases since and pretty pathetic output yeah. and everyone holds their hand up for that that's like as in general but there's way more kids kind of involved saying that like as in um, but because when we first came out you know mm -hmm. we came out in 2001 not came out Jesus <laughs> it's, it's the homosexual <laughs> end of you, yeah. no I, I came out in 2006 <laughs> what day are we today actually no um, in, t in 2001 and uh, we were like we were the little ones we were the shites do you know what I mean basically that um, the veterans or whatever the older the older heads were kind of going who are these like, upstarts do you know what I mean but then when then, well, I'd like to think, as upstarts, we proved a few people wrong. Some people still fucking hate our guts, and we hate their guts, we don't give a bollocks. But, um, it, like I said, there's, there's definitely younger kids, do you know what I mean, coming up, like, sometimes I'm there, fuck, he's only 18, and I'm kind of going, oh my god, I started when I was 18, or, or what, property, do you know what I mean, in a band and stuff, and then it's just kind of like... God, he was way better than I was at 18, and I'm thinking, oh fuck, because I mean, you know, I'm a selfish cunt at the end of the day, I compare everyone to myself, um, I like to see other people do well, but, like, as in, you know, but definitely, if other people can pick their thing up, it's it's great, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's, it's good to see other people, because I mean, you know, it would be great if Irish, because I, th I, th I think fucking US hip hop has gone so stale, and I think that, definitely, whether it's from the UK, or whether it's from Ireland, or whether it's from fucking France, or Estonia, I don't yeah. care, there needs to be a fresh voice to say something a bit different to the fucking status quo, which is just a lot of bollocks at the moment. Who would you highly rate? Um, I highly rate, I suppose, ever of all time. Is that wherever, what you mean? Wherever Ireland, UK uh, or America, wherever you... You know, in, you in, in Ireland, in Ireland um, that's, no, I'll probably leave someone out and someone will think <laughs> this is terrible, but your man New Sense is really good. Um, I think um, I like this funk, I like Urban Intelligence. Um, White Noise is a great beatboxer. Flip is a deadly DJ. Mayhem is a deadly DJ. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll always love people like Rero as well, you know, like mm -hmm. as in. Um, yeah, yeah. Like I remember doing a, a session with Rero and Jazz FM and just kind of. How you doing, man? And just being able to think in kind of. In really kind of lofty terms. I mm -hmm. thought it was really fucking good. And, and you know, like as in, a real fucking someone who was really good at what he does. And I always have a lot of time for him, you know, Rero. And I think, you know, Scary Arrow were a very important group, you know what I mean? Because they gave people like us the courage although although I would admit when we first started off we weren't mad about them that's the truth but then it was kind of like as in you know it's kind of like you hear a group and you, you people often dismiss the generation that came before yeah. them because you know it's kind of like fucking you know what came after punk they all said the punks are a load of shit you know we don't like punk anymore and they said that it was post punk or whatever and the punks in turn were saying like as in fucking we hate wanky Psychedelic shit. People, it's always easy to diss the the, the previous generation. Was scary. Or we're we're, import, we're an important group. Yeah. <coughs> you could smell the urine from the bedclothes of this wet child. I'd read the Tommy Knockers twice. I was upset by it. Now there were spiders on my wall. I thought the sky was gonna fall. 
and when they told me ghost stories I was dead quiet and irrational fear of crosses destroyed my confirmation was the garlic and holy water personification crying at elevators I ran my mother's patience kept herself and my father awake with trepidations I tell you what tell you what tell you I ran around that graveyard ten times I kept looking up at the steeple above anticipating bell chimes I tell you what tell you what tell you I ran around that graveyard ten times and when I saw no blue lady appear I knew it was all in my mind now I'm a skeptical man and I have not a lot of patience all you little kidneys need to chase what's in your basements. I am blue in the face with nights of barely sleeping, but this evening we'll go beneath the stairs and snare the demons. It's scaredy season. I think it fairly feeble people weeing themselves, screaming in bed like evil dead. You can bring a steak knife and if you like a torch too, just in case your latest little fright pack and a corkscrew. We ought to sort through, weed out and sanitize, leave out the battle cries and analyze the panic rise. So get your fangs out, it's vampire night. Come round the campfire. Light. We'll look at where the answers lie. Before the BDP reissues and method man Around the time I sang soprano in the kids choir band I used to take sweets from strangers, neighbours to outsiders But the one thing that made my skin crawl was house spiders If it wasn't like the frying cobwebs in the flower bed I was chasing incy wincy round the sink with the shower head They're God's creatures, said sentimentalists But I'd pulverize any venomous shit that braved my premises My multi-eyed nemesis, his reputation gruesome been terrorizing children since the dawn of evolution, increasing murder rates and fleecing us for curds and whey. I even heard of one in Africa that feasts on birds of prey. It makes the blood freeze. Well, I had that few until I stopped and put myself in spidey shoes. Imagine these screechy things with two beady eyes, an evil child with the rolled up satellite TV guide. He crushes your spine. Then fingers you for evil in this one. All you want to do is save his freaking ecosystem. It seems my kitty trauma was a treat compared to Incy's. So I overcame my fears and let all arachnids spin free. Scaredy cat. I don't know, scaredy cat. Who are you calling scaredy cat? See, I went to the Boogeyman convention, it was a crazy excursion. I met the Banshees, the Trolls and Bearded Ladies in person. And I can safely say they're all tomato ketchup virgins. Even Dracula. Yeah, the Transylvanian version, that was a mark of general disrespect. I spread my cheeks at the full moon and that big bad wolf done diddly, he's not scaring me. He's under the toe of Mrs. Riding Hood, all huff and puff. <laughs> Apparently he gets bitch slapped by little pigs for Dairy Lee. I'm using Ouija boards as bog road listening to Fear Factory and when I've children, I'll make them walk on every track they see. Because if telly had its way, they wouldn't trust their granny's smile. Is there Rohypnol in her chamomile and rich tea? Oh bitch, please, that shook. That's shooker than the shooker sleeve. It's how you feed a chicken licking complex. It's nonsense. Cause Chinese whisperers statistics speak insist that we lock our doors and throw away the locksmiths. Fuck it, I know my history. I grew with unsolved mysteries. Hit under a desperate Dan Duvet flashlighting the bitch in me. And thanks to a skeptical mom who cleaned my pillow sweat, I figured out the trickery of moonlight on a washing basket silhouette. The same hocus pocus makes the bigger children fret. The main focus is on primal fear, not intellect. A makeover given to an isolated incident in epidemic, world, nation, province, city, village threat. Scaredy cat. I'm no scaredy cat. Who are you calling scaredy cat? You see, the witch hunters, they'll tell you differently. But I know that the pointy hat came first and the cackle came with our sensitivities. Now putty knows Glinda floats. It's all about who fits the broomstick and gives a sweeping statement credibility. It's toil, trouble, newts, eyeballers. Setting up a comeback for childhood night crawlers. Revamp dreamland, collie wobbles to chill. I'm falling paralyzed, pursued by an eight-legged dentist drill. That's the combo nightmare for wet pajamas. Corny John Carpenter for more discerning. <laughs> no need for alarmists. Sheep with pointed ears making a grrr sound. You cry wolf. Our survey cry, err, a lack of wolf hound. Where's the sniffer snouts among the mass babble? Who know their fire from their broken emergency glass panel? Throw your hands in the air, wave them round, I don't care. You'll be knackered when the real infernos flare. Get your ass frazzled. That's it. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> well done, man. Such a performer. Thank you. Rap Ireland is Ireland's only hip hop magazine and was set up by a man called Kev Stores. It's been around for the past year or two and has worked hard in promoting hip hop in Ireland. In previous issues though has been criticised for not putting enough Irish hip hop in it and focused mainly on American and British stuff. But things have changed and have changed for the good as I've turned it back around in the Irish hip hop magazine hiring the likes of myself to help do that. Not only does Rap Ireland do a magazine but also does radio shows and gig promotions. 
Rap Baron were also in charge of promoting and managing the hip hop group The Elements. And although the contract is now over, I decided to speak to the guys. So, uh, when did you get signed by Kev Stores then? Uh, <laughs> Who's that bit out? Edit that! That's gone. It's gone, is it? It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. That contract's gone. You see that gore over there? That's where it is. <laughs> that contract's gone, but uh, we're still working with Kev and that still boy and Frank Jez. We're still working with a whole lot of them, and mm -hmm. just on a uh, vocal level. Mm -hmm. We still have a song with each <laughs> Do you think that worked well with for like promotion wise? Yeah, promotion wise it will push things out a little bit forward but not much maybe not but it'll help anyway, anything helps. You know? mm -hmm. So like um if you wanted to hear the elements, someone from like the north or from England or whatever, wanted to hear the elements, where could you hear them? MySpace. Go to um. <laughs> Slash the elements 2006. You can rewind that when you're editing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say again. www.myspace.com slash yeah. the elements yeah. 2006. Don't yeah. get the sound clip. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Over stand. Oh, so have yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you got any albums or any EPs or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah, it should be out soon. So, uh, what do you think of the Irish hip hop scene at the minute? Ah, uh, it lacks a lot. To be honest, to be honest, to be honest, shit. Yeah, yeah. It, it is, is that's just my. No, the venues are shit and the sound is shit. Yeah. It's just, yeah. The whole lot is just a lot. Like, the sound's not doing the place. It's just a lot. But for a lot of us, for the whole group, especially, I don't know, well, to speak from me here, but I think that, like, a lot of people are just premature getting on stage, they should get on stage, yeah. <laughs> It just, the market, it, just crowd, it just clears the crowd for when fucking we get on there, everything's <laughs> fucking gone, you know what I mean? And there's a lot of pattern back, like, oh yeah, you're going to go to let people know who the elements is, but a lot of content just fucking wrecking the stage and people are just rocking out. No, so they were way No, not you, you're mad. You stop. I like him. Yeah, yeah, I like the job boy. The job boy is nice, I like the job boy. It's a good game. Yeah, there is a few talented people. No, no, there's a few with the questions. There's a few talented as Phil Muckman. So you think that the Irish hip hop team should be more honest to each other and tell them? Yeah, we need to be more honest and just not give people gigs for the sake of gigs. Yeah, props are you're good, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Just tell them if somebody needs fucking help, if you need to fucking book up, book up, you know what I mean? Get your stuff. But there is a few talented people, I have to say, in Irish hip hop team. And it's grown, it's grown. It was not existent. I know it's grown, it is grown like this. But a lot of people in Ireland are just too narrow minded. They don't take it seriously. They think, ah, rap, it's not American, it's not only. I think that's really big. The lock is. What do you think the future is for the Irish hip hop scene? What, what's the future for yourselves? Yeah, the future for ourselves is hopefully getting fucking some good airplay yeah. and uh, start releasing something on mm -hmm. the big record label so that we can push air voices out for that and let people know people just to get the fucking scene going, you know, because mm -hmm. nobody else is doing it. So mm -hmm. We might as well be the ones to do it. Well, a lot of acts are trying. I know they're trying, but they're not succeeding. So, yeah. Universal had Collie on. That didn't work. Now they've got uh, that little tiny girl. I don't know what her name is. Charisma. Charisma, yeah. yeah. Oh. No, no, I don't know what her name I'm just saying. How about Elmony girl? <laughs> I know she's from town, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't see her at all. I heard she's back to the media. So that's not pushing through still, you know? We need it on mainstream, on radio. We need people to respect it, basically. Yeah. We need the Irish to be open-minded. There's a lot of youth in Ireland and they're a waste of time, I thought. So you see yourselves breaking through yourselves, not with no, any. No, we're not saying that. We're not really big heads saying we're gonna break too. We're just gonna try. God knows who could be. Someone else could be anyone. We can't see a lot of talent out there. He'll do it. There's a lot of them picking anyone up. It's just gonna be rapping in this place for another. Yeah, like record labels aren't gonna take the risk. Yeah. They just think I have a trap. No, no, thank you. There's a difference between. Between being big headed and confident. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's what I was wanting to do. Mm -hmm. got confidence, yeah? Yeah. I don't know anybody that has confidence. No, no, we're not big headed, it's all confidence. You've got to speak with confidence. What's it going on? Who is it? <laughs> with, the, with the rap Ireland oh. daily used to have, um, did you just get much airplay with that? Yeah, we got a bit on FM 104. Yeah, Frank Jazz, I'm okay, like the DJ, just still have to let them. Mm -hmm. We got a bit, yeah. 
but like it wasn't raining. Right? You, you wouldn't be walking away at fucking three o'clock in the day and hear the elements in the background. Mm-hmm. So before we got that deal, they were paying us anyway. Yeah, exactly. Set <laughs> comprehensive on this NPC, become inventive. Sample brain cells, mind tweak on productions. Keep them all locked in a prism like a function. The scale of destruction, tear apart your assumption. I want you to try to be on the philosophy of life. Hanging from the tree is the leaf on which I glide. With artistic nature, come across as being live. I shot the messenger, and everybody wonders why. Why I won't starve, cause he ate the whole pie. Hypochondriac, but like fiddling with knives. So many round the Belts and excesses, lawyers won't manage our baggage just to make you feel our right. Sweat, Fahrenheit, red, seeing red are just my paranoid. Creep around the concrete at night, cut only by edges, don't appear to the sight. So yeah. stay the mind, jagged the pierce, death and sword. From rags to ridges, from birth to forgiveness, the vanity to sickness, this earth had to witness. Mad half business, people crying for the biscuit, the fruit of life, lick lips are resisted. What? Check it, check it, what? Listen. Give it, give it. They thought that it's all right, that it might slide. No, no one I'm patiently waiting for the right time. Apparent transparent, now they're acting like some wise guys, feeling brave. Like they snow pure white lines when they get quite high. I get a scissors to clip off their wings. I'll turn them back to the slime mice that they were. Still eat no humble pie slice. Men's get munched and digest with fine wine. Steadily getting bad signs in my eyesight. But the ones I possess is like that of a bat's eyes. Quote to my rhymes, the priest bit to baptize. Probably trading your soul for an advertise. MC seeking for the light and the flashlight. I'm in prospect while they're drifting anti clockwise. Blindfolded, can't realize what lies. We need the lies of these phonies being televised. Poor composition of rhymes from petty minds. Save it for the pop fans, man. You're not my type. I'm confiscating humanities. Take my advice. Best to say night night to the bad guys. Understand that we're not fucking about with this rapping team. Hold on, hold on. Who are you? <laughs> are you? Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. The lords that are dropping your existence to a stop Persistently what? consistent yeah. with delivery, that's all Your vision must be missing because killing me or not No food, I eat blood, you choose the plot We do not intend to tag it, but fools do get shot New skills are not just a norm who conforms The only thing they're missing is a cheap uniform And they're a score, you got labeled by the scientists The team of set and standards, even pose I'm not complying with My environment has made me like this Wrecking and dissecting them with these mic grips Those dumb dicks, best what? Run before you miss because never, never again, again will you hear a display of this what? lyrical savagery. You did the challenge. challenge. See, I'm simply through the ripper in search of your anatomy. Bringing out all your intense times and shit. Give me some credit because I guess Ken Jong well I rapped on the beats and proved everybody wrong. I didn't rap for the seat, I didn't lack in the song, but the fact was the track was a rap all along. Said it didn't matter, well it mattered to me. You know it ain't getting better, it's as bad as can be. Life like the weather, for cast always changing. Good when it lasts, but with clouds and rain. Stop the complain and we're miles ahead. And not being vague, but let the truth be said. It's a minor escape from the stress we're living. You let go with a passion, start a new beginning. Life is all but a mystery. When your time is up, it's a meant to be. It's a crazy world and these are crazy days. But you know God works in crazy ways. Good head, wherever you are, man. My life consists around the likes Of metal bars and pipes And that's just what the likes Of apprentices on sites They call me no rights The boy young fill a name of no choice Walk rap, girl and home Fills my days and nights But it's crucial I still stay youthful I've had my stress with juggling truthful But the feeling's mutual No refusal to get things done as usual Had a long task Peace and memories like dreams and scenes The find my past It's found at last I'd rather rasp the answer's harsh I feel I've crashed But I can't sit down I can't relax You'll hear my voice on countless tracks before I face God's axe. I swore that when relations do it, six foot deep we far wide. Angels, God's demons, tears deployed on God's chessboard. Who could void? Pull the sword and ask, What you're living for? Yeah, what are you living for? What are you living for? One more. One more. One more, right, right. One more. Man reveres, the stack heads full of tears. Fruit are lacking compliments, are right determined with my peers. The subconscious is the logic that defines. The brain is the object that derives my type of science. Idiots, the chiefs, bring the downside of the rhyme. I'm the child of the car and that. So- Get out. Get out of this fucking scientific mind based around abstract abusers, cabbage necks in their prime. Heavy lead gaze, knucklehead with lazy eyes, filled for the thoroughbred, the center of my life. Choking on steady, dead, sophistical of no less. 
A fragment of glass for the loose oils who chat shit, who witness what you spit. All I taught, what was this? Y'all listening to the star, observing cosmic pay slips. Solar base patterns, drinking vodka from a stick. You too loy hearted for the complex with a twitch. Smack a grimace, Seth, word to the visit. Not bands and cameos, stand on noise that's everlasting. Searching your inner self before you start asking. Propaganda is the target, shock appeal for the market. We got somebody and then we all talk. We had it. This hustle's a bitch, but I'll keep on going at it. Every day is much the same, navigating through the frantic. Through the fucking frantic! What? <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. Country Culture is the host of Ireland's best hip hop show. The guy who was born in Italy and lived in America moved over to Ireland with the love of hip hop. He decided to set up an internet radio show that worked through the SoundClick charts, giving the chance for new Irish hip hop artists to get their music heard. Peace, my name is Counter Culture and I'm from Dublin, Ireland. I was born in Sicily, Italy. Grew up in the United States, in New Jersey, aka New Jerusalem. I discovered Irish hip hop when I was living in Italy uh, back in 2002 when I was trying to make a decision on where I wanted to go to because I was going to leave Italy and I wanted to go to a country where I could speak English and where I can get more involved in a hip hop community using the English language because the English language is my mother language as opposed to the Italian language. So I discovered Irish hip hop on basically on the internet. I found www.irishhiphop.com and that's where I first began to learn about the Irish hip hop scene. 2003, I moved over to Dublin, Ireland and ever since then, I've been part of this Irish hip hop community. Basically, I've been putting up my music on a place called soundclick.com over the past couple years and what happened was is that I discovered that there was a way to calculate all the artists that were up on SoundClick who are from Ireland. And when I saw these calculations, I saw that there was a top 10 most listened to. And when I thought to myself, this is a, this is a discovery that should be used and that isn't being used. And certainly when you turn on Irish radio, you're not going to hear, not only are you not going to hear a top 10 uh, for Irish hip hop artists, you're hardly going to hear any Irish hip hop artists being played virtually throughout the week occasionally you might get something on the big smoke occasionally you might get something on soul base but generally and i don't know i don't know how it is in northern ireland i believe they have a community radio station there where uh, some irish hip hop is being played as well as down in cork but the idea of an entire show that's 100 percent irish hip hop did not exist at the time when i created this and i felt as though it was needed because i felt as though uh, there's no excuse and there's no reason why any rate, any country with a radio network should not be supporting and playing their local artist. When I lived in Italy, uh, Italian rappers got radio play. Of course, in America, American rappers get radio play. You go to Germany, you go to France, and the local, uh, the local people of the country get radio play. When I came here to Ireland, I found that People weren't getting radio play. Irish artists weren't getting radio play. To hear the show, all you have to do is go to www.irishhiphop.com and go into the audio section, and you'll find all the information that you need there in order to know how to go listen to the show and also how to participate in the voting system to see certain tracks go up the charts or come down the charts. First and foremost, I have achieved what it is that I wanted to achieve, to show that something like this could be done in a legitimate way. When you listen to the when you listen to the broadcast that I do, it sounds like something that literally could be played on the radio or could be heard on the radio. I get messages of people asking me, yo, what station is this being broadcasted from? Because it sounds like a legitimate radio show. And so the point has been proven that this can be done and so it's my belief that by doing this radio stations no longer have any excuse as to why or why not they can't do this it can be done and I've showed that it can do it now I've gotten beyond that in, in the sense that I'm not really interested anymore in radio playing this because now I realize we are in the digital age and internet internet broadcasting is where we're going at 
in the future. And so I want to take this show to the international audience so that Irish hip hop can be heard all over the world, as opposed to continuously trying to bang down the doors of local radio stations and, and trying to break into the mainstream of Ireland. I'd say we bypass that and we get a nicer, more different, more interested audience if we go into the international hip hop community. I think there's a big contrast between the old and the new. I think we're truly moving into a, an, uh, a new era of conscious hip hop rising within the Irish hip hop community. I think the future for Irish hip hop and what I would like to see happen with Irish hip hop is that it continues to believe in itself and continues to be more independent and continues to break away from the idea that it needs to get into the mainstream in order to be accepted. This is a legitimate hip hop community. Irish hip hop as an identity is a legitimate reality and we've done it without the support of the mainstream. We've done it without the support of the subcultures. We have survived on our own in an independent way. So for me, I believe the future of Irish hip hop is going to be determined by itself because Irish hip hop will not die. To wrap this off, I'm going to keep it a bit brief. Irish hip hop has a lot of fucking potential. So much potential I want to have a career in it. So there are a lot of wankers in the scene, people that don't do fuck all themselves, but are first to criticise you when you do something constructive. I made this DVD knowing that I didn't have much money or experience to do this, so the camera wasn't the best quality, it may have been a bit shaky, I may have been a bit nervous, but who gives a fuck because it's raw and it's unpolished. And that's a true reflection of what Irish hip hop really is, raw and unpolished. I'm not a fucking TV presenter, nor a fucking cameraman. I'm a video director, but I had to get my foot in the door somewhere and no one else was willing to do a documentary so I had to do it. Before this DVD, Irish Hip Hop didn't really have a video dimension to it. Most people didn't know what most of the MCs actually looked like, so even if I didn't do anything else, at least I can say I done that. Not to mention that this many Irish Hip Hop artists have never been together all in one project. That's another thing I can say I've helped bring about. For the people watching this right now, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've been educated in Irish hip hop, because I certainly have taught a lot of things. And as for who is Ireland's finest MC, well you gotta figure that one out yourself. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Peace.